Fine. Welcome to the OSR's podcast where we talk about RuneScape. I am Mint Man Cat, one of your hosts, followed by... What is going on, boys? Rex as always. And hello, it's me, Ricecope. And today we have a very special guest straight from OSR's Twitch. Her name is Jellyfish. She does a no-spoiler RuneScape streaming content, which means, yeah, no, no backseating, no research, no wiki, not even Rune-like, like, you know, plugins that, that can be, you know, used to help her in her quest to dominate this game without any help. So really interesting uh, way of, you know, doing content. So welcome to OSR's podcast, Miss Jelly. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be on the podcast. Some progression, like what's your combat level and like what do you do in game exactly? Yeah, um, that's a good question. So I'll kind of backtrack a little and, and talk about where I went and where I, how I got to where I got, uh, if that's cool. So um, I started the journey by doing my quest cape. So I did quest point cape without any guides. Then I did I did fire cape somewhere in there. So I did that oh. without any guides. Um, and then I did uh, corrupted gauntlet because I had access to Prith. So I started oh doing God. that. So that was really fun. Um, and lately, I just got Hunlift not too long ago. Uh, the Hunlift pet, Younglift. Oh, so, nice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I like 300 something uh, CG KC. And so I just started doing Zora without any guides. And it's a hit or a miss, but it's it's been a hit wow. lately. So yeah. Wait, yeah how, how, long did it, how long did it take you to complete every quest without a guide? I think almost two years. Two years, damn. Yeah. I, that's crazy. That's I don't even think hard. I could do that. So fair play to you. Touche. You, yeah, you play like I play, except I do it because I'm incredibly lazy and I don't read updates. So, and I just brute force everything. <laughs> I, I don't know how you would do that, except for quests. That's that's the thing I cheat on. How do you do quests <laughs> without a guide? Do you actually look at your chat and get like spoilers, or are you just out here like, okay, someone needs cheese, I gotta find them. Like, like how do you do that? I don't. Someone needs cheese, I gotta find them. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sounds horrible. <laughs> a lot of the quests that I've done have helpful dialogue throughout the quest that kind of guide me in the right direction. Um, I I'm a, yeah, I read all the dialogue, everything, and a lot Do of it I read out loud. I oh. have, I can't say I haven't, um, but we'll pretend that I haven't and that I don't. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah, I read all the quest dialogue. I'm allowed to access, the rule is, I'm allowed to access anything that's in the game. So anything kind of in, in the general game. Uh, so I can use the quest log. You know how you can click on the quest and it comes up with a description? That has helped me tremendously. And before I start a quest, I go there uh, and read the quest requirements and write those down first. Because if it has like a crafting requirement of 35, you know, I can then look at the crafting guide and say, oh, at 35, it unlocks a bullseye lantern. That's very wrong. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't but know. then yeah. I can like make, I know that I might need to make that. Or I know that I might need a chisel throughout the quest or something like that. Oh my, you um, might need it. Oh, I can't even imagine I might need a chisel in while I'm questing. That sounds <laughs> so bad. Like, wh what's the worst part you've got stuck on? I, I, I would almost guess maybe lunar diplomacy. Because even when I was reading the guide, when I'm on that ship, I'm like, all right, I got to go search something. I got a bullseye lantern for some reason. It's like green. I think you got to put... I, I, I barely finished it with the quest guide. So what did you get stuck on? Lunar diplomacy, I actually don't remember as being that bad. No. But I will say, um, Mornings on Part Two, the the mirror oh. placements. Oh. There is one mirror uh, <sighs> that you like put inside. I think it's a yellow beam of light, and you put it inside of um, like a post. And I didn't know you could even do that at first. So I like there's like a specific post that you redirect the light kind of early in the puzzle. And it took me, I mean, hours to do Morning Sun Part 2 without a guide. So I think that was... Oh it took me a day God. to do it yeah. with, with a guide. <laughs> 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 when I was like, when I was doing it as a kid, but like, yeah, mm. it took me over a day. No, I had to do you, it twice because I, I mean, messed up with it. How do you have the like willpower? Because you're streaming all of this, I'm assuming, right? You do it all on stream. How do you have the willpower not to look at the chat when you need help? Like, talk me through that. 
Yeah, so I do I do look at the chat, but my mods are my biggest asset. Honestly, um, I'm so grateful for them and they time out everything. They delete every single spoiler. Um, they time out people who are consistently spoiling. So there have been times when there have been a lot of angry chatters who come by and are like, I hate this stream because you've got, you know, really angry mods, but genuinely it's the biggest help because they get rid of all the spoilers. Uh, they don't mean any harm by it. Like if you're not posting spoilers, you're not going to get your message deleted. If you accidentally post a spoiler, then the message just gets kind of deleted and they say something nice, you know? Mm. Um, but yeah, they keep the chat completely free of spoilers. So I can still read the chat, interact with the chat. Um, and spoilers get timed out typically before I see them or deleted. Wow. See, those kind of haters, it's like, imagine hating someone and you go in their chat and you start helping them with a quest. It's like, all right, here's what you got to get to do next so I can ruin it for you. I mean, that's another type of a, a hate. And I was thinking about questing items, or not items, but parts that I got stuck on. I remember doing Dragon Slayer 2 right when it came out, and that puzzle, I was like, all right, I'll just do it. I'll just do the puzzle. It's, it's, it's out the first day, easy peasy. I look at it, I'm starting to like put things together and nothing was making sense. I think 40 minutes went by and then someone linked me a screenshot of it. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> was right? it a slider puzzle? Yeah. Was it? Yeah, yeah. it was <clears throat> awful. I feel like that was Monkey Madness 2. Yeah. Was it Monkey slider. Madness 2? It was one of the slider second ones. Puzzle, no, Slayer not the... Two. It was like a giant geographic like thing yeah, on the it was. Floor. Yeah, not it was in... Big, um, um, oh! Yeah. yeah, big site. It's, it's on, yeah, Fossil it, Island. It was on the yeah. ground. Dragon Slayer it's been Two, so isn't long it? Long for me. That is, it is Dragon Slayer Two. I'm so sorry, yeah. I miscorrected you. I was trying to figure out what puzzle. Um, but yeah, I think I brute forced it. How? Bro. I don't know. Because I tried. <laughs> how how, how did you get it? on with the quest one? Small oh, I did that quest without a guide. It wasn't as hard as like Morning Zen Part Two. To no. Be Dude, I hate that quest. It one took me like seven that. hours without a guide or something. Oh my Ugh. god. Jilly, do you remember doing Eight one hours. small favor? Yeah, and you know, everyone in the chat's like, oh, it's just going to be one small favor. It's going to take you like 10 <laughs> minutes. And and they would often like predict how long a quest is going to take me. So that way I could have an idea of how long the stream is going to be. So like, oh, don't worry about this one. You'll get it done in no time. And then then it didn't it didn't end up being one small favor. So. <laughs> <laughs> you have many small favors. <laughs> <laughs> exactly so. how long did that one take i wish i i wish i just had a log of all the timestamps and how long they all took me i'll be totally honest um a lot of it was kind of a blur and then when i'm streaming yeah. i can just ask chat and be like hey guys how long did it take me to do one small favor and they're like seven hours you know and then i can be like ah oh, it took seven hours but i'm gonna be honest i have no idea um how long oh. it took <laughs> I see. Has it ever? Well, it must. You must have had like a couple quests where it's taken you like, what? What's the longest amount of time it's taken you to complete a single quest? That's a good question, and I think so. I want to say it was Song of the Elves. Song of the Elves was, I think, the only quest that I didn't do in one sitting, and it was because I had to take a flight, so I stayed up all night. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting over a little cold, but I stayed up all night working on Song of the Elves and had to leave for a flight in the morning and thought I would be done in time, but I wasn't. So <laughs> I ended on the light puzzle with Song of the Elves and then came back to it. And I think that it took closer to, I want to say 13 hours and all. Um, but I think that the oh, longest good. that I may have spent questing was maybe nine hours. That could be totally wrong, but I want to say around nine hours. Um, morning Zen Part 2? <laughs> morning Zen Part 2, uh, or I mean, sorry, probably closer to 12 or 13. Um, morning Zen Part 2, I think, took, if I have to guess, I would guess like close to 9 or 10. Um, Underground Pass took me a really long time, too. Uh, and I actually drew, part? I drew the Underground Pass maze because I couldn't navigate it. Like I didn't know what I was looking for in Underground Pass. I kept falling through the floor and then I didn't know where I was. Um, and there were different areas uh, underground and I just couldn't navigate it. So I ended up taking a notepad and like drawing the entire maze and where I needed to go to do what and drawing the cages so that I could um, know which hands I, or like which cages I put my hand into, you know? 
so that I oh could ask God, them out to part. know where to go. <laughs> yeah. um, because you have your so sketches big. still? You have your sketches? <laughs> I <laughs> do somewhere. Uh, but the truth oh. is, one of my biggest That's regrets funny. kind of throughout the whole series was that I... Um, I didn't do all of my quests in one notebook, and I really wish I had. Oh, you know? that would have been a sick, like, yeah. like uh, what do you call it, memorabilia or something. Yeah, and then I could have, like, auctioned it off for a charity or something at the end, and it would have been really cool, but, oh but I didn't. So. What about, um, so, <clears throat> I, listen, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> throw you a compliment. You have to be really smart, okay, because when I first completed Desert Treasure when I was a kid, that, that took me a whole week. To do. And I mean, I I mm. meleeed with like mid seventy stats every boss, oh God. which is like borderline <laughs> impossible to do. And why it took me a week? Do you, do you know the uh the vampire part in Mortania? Yeah. I literally oh I, I had yes. to do that one like six times. I messed up so bad, and I couldn't kill him. He's like impossible with melee. But like, <sighs> damn, yeah. Just like I'm 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 amazed you didn't say like a week to complete a quest. Because if I did even now with my experience. It would still take me like a week to do that quest and certain quests in the game, like Song of the Elves. That's nuts. I don't think you give yourself enough credit. <laughs> oh no, trust me, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not too like puzzle inclined. <laughs> like I struggle. <laughs> okay, all right. Can you do a puzzle box on your own? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. But like they're easy. Do you know what I mean? Like, but that's because I've yeah. done it for years. And now I, I was just thinking, by the way, like Rune Light is hmm. like a lazy man's dream because it literally tells you where to go and um in the underground pass with the ghouls where you have to search the cages like i don't even know if you know this but with room light there's literally a, a plugin that will tell you the exact cage like you don't have you, you <laughs> just go plugin. to the one that is highlighted that's like that's all you do you search one <laughs> yep I, I used this recently it's true it was yep. a good time yeah i mean if you play dead man mode it's just like you'd be silly not to you yeah, know, it's got like... the flashing blue lights. It's super in your face. Jilly, you can't miss it. There's your next <laughs> series. You this same series on a Dead Man Mode season. Live. Oh. There you go. Oh, God. No guides. <laughs> if he cares, show up. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's just asking for a bad time, but you know, yeah. <laughs> it could it's a happen. bad time, anyways. You know, <laughs> why not? I mean, yeah, it does I've sound got... like a pretty bad time, though. <laughs> I've got a question that I think is a little bit interesting, right? So you're saying that. People are being timed out in your chat for trying to help you out, right? And obviously, mm -hmm. you know, your mods aren't mean anything by that. Have you ever had people that have actually, like, found you in game and been trying to give you information? Like, do people go to that extent? Or, like, how have you found that? Yeah, um, when I was first learning Zora, um, I was having a lot of trouble early on. And someone came to my world and dropped... Um, the rings gosh uh ring of recoil oh, all over the floor oh, all over the floor and i was like and so and so obviously oh. i knew you know and so i started using them and then someone also spoiled that you could load the um ring of suffering is that right with the ring yep. of recoils so there are certain things that have gotten through um but for the most part it's been spoiler free and for the most part no one cares enough to find me in game and waste their time so true um, true just true. wait oh. just wait it'll get worse <laughs> he'll find you you are you're like playing the game on hard mode i'm actually so impressed like everybody just plays iron man which is definitely hard mode also but like you've just taken it to a different angle like you're, you're literally limiting the amount of knowledge that you know in order to like you have to figure that blows my mind oh my god it's i don't hard. know how it's hard how i don't yeah. understand that it doesn't make sense to me it's like do you, do you ever ask people for help in real life like if did you like did you raise your hand as a kid to ask a question or do you just like figure it out <laughs> i think i always was super stubborn i don't know um yeah huh. i i guess i kind of i look things up when it comes to other things you know but yeah okay um, with RuneScape, my my motive was that, uh, like, we all played, I think I, I speak for all of us, but I think we all played OSRS as kids, right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So when we were kids, we didn't really have guides, you know, and we did spend seven hours, like you were saying, uh, doing like the the puzzles and doing the mazes and navigating Darkmire or whatever. I don't think Darkmire. Days, literally days. Even when but yeah. 
so when i started streaming old school runescape i was like i really want to like bask in the nostalgia and live this like i did as a kid um but with a membership you know so uh, that was kind of my motive but oh that's cool yeah, yeah, Tom, thanks for bringing that up because I was wondering how much info did you have on RuneScape when you started that journey? You know, did you just go in blind? Sounds like you played back then. Yeah, so um, I played as a kid. I think as a, and I could tell you because I can access my RS3 account still, like when once it migrated, um, but I think I got to like combat level 62 or something i was free to play you know? oh, okay only free to play all right so you didn't know a whole lot then 62 yeah. and free to play that's that is another challenge right there i don't know hey man i, I got to 80 in free to play it took too oh, long man, to just flexing on us over here <laughs> we know how many tebos you got rice come on man no stop, stop, stop talking about how that how many tebos do you have <laughs> <laughs> I currently have those. three, but one of them, Damn. one of them, I, I had, I, I got four Yo. around the account, but one of them got Tom, out. isn't it weird yep. that he has three T-Bows and Ouch. there's like three Frustrated. people in the podcast? <laughs> It's like perfect math. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of mm. weird. Yeah, man. man. Free, free. Mm. Yo, I'm saving them for our special rate. occasions to Alk, okay? All right. There you go. Oh, oh this don't is do a special that. occasion? No, I'm just kidding. You know, I, I, like, I, had, I, I out one of them, right? So I have four out one of them. It started with hey, three, I mean, and then I out one listen, of them for charity, right? And I mean, then I got another Tebow. So then it's back to three again. <laughs> I mean, let's, uh, let's just say this. This is a bit of a spoiler from the last podcast, but if any of you guys watched the last podcast till the end, I mean, Reed did actually give away a Tebow to one lucky winner that watched <laughs> all the way till the end. So you might want to watch until the end of this one, boys, and you might get lucky too. That's yeah, why he's got three type, into the four. If you type rice in the comments, you may or may not be entered for one <laughs> or two Tebows right now. All right. Involuntarily <laughs> entered into something that may or may not exist. But yeah. All right. <laughs> Oh god! All right. We'll wait, wait. We should out. we should go back in time then. All right, because like you know, we we always need to know what the original kid jellyfish was all about with Rootscape, You know, right? Like, like what was like you know, like when did you start playing? Of course, we 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 need to hit up those basic points, right? When you start playing, you know, some of your memorable moments. Let's just start from there before we you know spam you with more of those questions. Gosh, um. <laughs> It's going to get a little bit embarrassing. So It's so always started, embarrassing. <laughs> um, so I started playing with my sister. Um, my sister is two years older than me. And she, I guess, had some friends who played RuneScape. Our neighbor at the time played RuneScape. Um, and my sister like had a really big crush on her neighbor. And I think that like he liked her too. So oh. they would hang out and play together and like do little quests and things. And he gave her a rune scimitar, you know, and that was like a really big sign of affection. Um, oh, and my man. sister. Very cute, very cute. Yeah, my sister was like, you're always following me around in game. I need to find you someone. And so she did. She found another uh, OSRS player who was a guy and she made him change his haircut to the cute haircut. Like she made him like shave and change his haircut in Falador so that yeah. he could be my designated old school RuneScape friend. Bro, am I hearing oh, this right? So God. you're saying back in the day when people were buying GFs for 10K, some of them were actually GFs. Because I had 10K. I feel like I missed out on a substantial opportunity if there was like a 1 in 10. All I mean, right. to be fair, I don't, I don't think they lasted, right? <laughs> you know. Well, I mean, I think what you're saying is, um, see, I wasn't the GF being sold, though. We bought the BF. <laughs> That's what? even better! Uh, the power play. Wait, wait, wait. The power did you play. pay, did you pay for the haircut? Did you pay for the haircut? I didn't. She did. She did. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. she funded the haircut and everything. She gave him like a little yeah. outfit. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and by BF, I mean best friends. So we were best friends <laughs> for best years. Friend. We were best friends for years. I mean, like five years or something. Uh, and then we had like a little like crush on each other, but I didn't want to eat date, right? Because I'd never dated anyone. Um, Ooh, and <laughs> and he, yeah, and he catfished me. Oh, no. <laughs> what? what the heck? Ah. So he was like 80 years old or five years. Was it a girl or something crazy? Like, no, it was a guy. Um, but he used pictures. I mean, I feel like I shouldn't say this. Um, yeah, don't worry, he used pictures. Now. 18 plus. <laughs> so, so we would like call and talk and stuff and like hang out and like you know, e hang out. And um, and he sent me a bunch of pictures and like 
me being the kid that watched, you know, Wait, how, how to old Catch were a Predator. You yeah, how old I were you had then? to have been by this time. I had to have been like maybe 13, 14. Oh, you know, I see, I see. So yeah, mm -hmm. so I can hear the I sirens. Watched, how to catch a predator you know he would never video chat and i always wanted to like video chat and stuff um mm, so wow, you're daring for you know you're daring for, for a kid that. yeah uh -huh. that was how it was yeah, yeah ago, honestly you know? yeah, i mean you didn't even take candy at this point you just <laughs> like hey what's up yeah <laughs> yeah uh, I see, I see. Mm. but yeah so um so we would like call and i give him my number and everything oh, and wow. um yeah it was it was kind of sus do you think and, he's still yeah. out there as your number one contributor or what do you so, think oh god please don't go there <laughs> <laughs> don't go this there. maybe this may be why i shouldn't share this let me be honest well he was a really nice guy in the at the end of the day and he just used his cousin's pictures um because i google reverse searched him i was like trying to be a smart kid nothing mm -hmm. came up he used his cousin's pictures he later told me and then we lost contact over the years and whatever um but a couple months ago, I post an Instagram story and I was just like, oh, I wonder who like looked at my Instagram story. Is that guy? Oh, <laughs> it was a common name. So I, I don't know. Oh, so if you're watching this podcast right now, like, we're chill. Uh -huh. We're chill. We're chill. <laughs> I work in you. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I think uh, we've just found the title for this podcast, by but, the way. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, like, <laughs> like, you know, you know what I mean? Wait, is that I, what your I, name? Wait, yeah. Where did your name come from? It wasn't anything to do with that, was it? Uh, Jellyfish? Cause, yeah. Because, like, fishing, like, uh, or, like catfish. Fishing. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, so my name is Jill. Uh, J L L, and so I was like, "Ah, oh, jellyfish, jellyfish, that'll be cute," you know, and that was it. Ah, I see. But, By the way, yeah. I, I've I've never quite understood because I'm from the UK. We don't go catfishing here, or at least I don't think so. No, you um, do. So <laughs> I, 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 think I guarantee it. Yeah. I, I had a conversation <laughs> with my um. I had a conversation. I'm talking about the actual, or actually oh, they stick their hand in the water. No, I'm talking about oh, actual, actual catfish. Oh, actual. Yeah, I was gonna say the other one catfish. for sure. But my so bad. I was talking. Oh, I don't know how it came up in conversation. I had a conversation with my grandma a few weeks ago, and she, I had to try and describe what catfishing was, and I couldn't. I could. I could explain like you know what it was in our terms of like you know somebody pretending not to be who they are. But why is it called catfishing? What is like the connection between actually catching a catfish? What do you in real think life? a cat is, bro? Like, what is no. the term for a cat? Dude, and no, I don't it's not. Be no, no, here. no. It can't be because right. So catfishing, I've seen them do it. They literally stick their hands like underneath the banks in rivers, and then they pull out massive catfish, right? And it's sometimes it can be deceiving. So if anybody in the comments knows, I, I'm are guessing these the guys don't fish the catfish. catfish. Yeah, Tom, I, I want to know. I want to understand. Tom, are you looking for the one for fishing or the one for cyber fishing? Dude, I'm saying there has to be a connection between the two. Right. Yeah, you're well, saying the origin of the there term. Has to be. What, yes. what is what like, is your catching literal catfish and the other? No, I don't think I don't. You know what? Uh, yeah. what Let us know. Right, well, ex I mean, explain to me then why it's called catfishing. catfishing. I, well, I, I don't I, understand. I want to call like, it luring. I don't know. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Being, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Without being vulgar for the cyber term, all right, okay. cat. What? Let's okay. Let's just say there's yeah, a slaxing one, right? There's there's a waxing salon nearby, and I saw one. It's called right. Pretty Kitty. Why would they name the the waxing salon Pretty Kitty? They don't wax kitties. <laughs> Dude, I still don't. Dude, I still don't think it makes. Even with that context, I no, don't think no, it has like, uh, Because I think look look look. This there's different severities of catfishing, right? There could be like. People but online you, just pretending that they're someone else just to feel good about themselves, right? Yeah, oh, they yeah, don't okay. mean much. And then there's other severities where, like, dude, they're the trying to manipulate people <laughs> into like physically wait, meeting wait, wait. up for something. You know, if that's the case, that's then catfish. Level. If that's the case, then catfish mainly is towards guys and not girls, and that's not correct because girls also catfish. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But <laughs> I, I think originally, right, the term the, the the term was probably coined because of 
a, a lot of dudes online maybe back in the day doing that shit. Dude, I, 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 genu I, I genuinely thought it was something to do with like sure. sticking your hand in riverbanks and pulling out catfish. I, I, <laughs> I, genuinely I mean, that is a real term for that. I, right? I, know they, yeah. I know they do it in Florida and I know they've got alligators and crocodiles and shit. Like, mm. I don't know. I thought maybe it was something yeah. to do with losing an arm or something. I mean, I, I mean, to be fair, right? Like in today's day and age, everybody goes online and they, you know, it, in some degree, we've all been catfish in some way. But like, there's so many different levels of severity. Like her, like jellyfish's interaction was rather tame. You know, it's, it wasn't like, you know, it's not like the guy was looking for anything. And you know. he was still like the age he said he was, and everything like that was still on yeah. fire. Which was yeah, cool. it was like still really like. Minor. Well, honestly, I wanted to get back to that story because, I mean, mm -hmm. you just pull yeah. out that story, the best story I might have heard all week uh, <laughs> out of nowhere. I'll tell you some real catfish um, story, though. Like, no, no. Right. So, all right. After, yeah, after we get yeah, some yeah, more yeah. deets here, man, we want to hear you getting picked up by like an 80-year-old lady, right? Uh, maybe. Uh, no, actually. not for me. Not for me. Thank right, God. Okay. Yeah, oh, you got it. Never mind. Um, what yeah. was his age? You know, give us some deets about this man. How do you pull it off, you know? uh Damn. yeah so we were just i mean we were friends and we were friends for such a long time so he was a couple years older than me i think he was like two or three years older than me but not by oh. much you know it wasn't oh, super significant so he wasn't like, a teacher he's not okay. like 21 and i'm yeah 11, that was like a you know? very, yeah. um it was like yeah. a slight lie i guess you know some slight yeah. lies in there yeah it was literally just the pictures you know everything else seemed authentic um it was just the pictures Oh, okay. Yeah, All why right, did he enough. use that? Like, did he always just feel like, oh, I just don't feel good about my looks? Is that why or something like that? Uh, wait, yeah, so he, wait, yeah, you yeah, saw no, his right. name on your story, so you must have clicked on his profile shortly, right? So, was that the first time that you've ever seen him? No, so <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so the profile was private. I'll say that. So, like, who knows? Right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. the how I found out. Uh, so. We had each other outed on MSN, you know, Oof, classic. And um, and we would message <sighs> each other and stuff. And you know, I really liked this guy. And one winter, he just ghosted me, just completely stopped replying, stopped messaging me. Um, and it was like later in the spring, I logged on to MSN randomly, and his picture was different. And I was like, "Hey, um, just following up. I hope you're doing well. Your picture's looking a little different." And he was like, he like, he totally changed the subject. He was like, oh yeah, I don't know. And he changed his picture. And then a couple, I guess a couple of years later, we reconnected as friends or something. And maybe I'm, rem if he's watching this, maybe I'm remembering the story wrong. <laughs> we'll have him on later. Don't worry. The next, <laughs> next yeah. podcast. Him. Him. <laughs> Drop it in the comments. We'll bring you on. You know, yeah, we'll we'll what? Jillian, her. Yeah, there. there we go. <laughs> Fix this problem. Oh my no. gosh. That would be. You know what I was, I was thinking? Yeah, you said right. you checked his picture. What if it was just like some old, like fifty-two-year-old dude, <laughs> just like fat as shit? Oh, you can't get a voice yeah. like like that though, as a fifty-two. What I've heard, I've heard voices. Yeah, my voices can can be anything, man. Um, like what if like the picture that was supposed to be him was also another catfish he was doing on someone else? And that's God. why he ghosted you. That's the, so it was. Oh. So Later, All right. a years later he adds me on facebook or like i add him on facebook i find him we add each other uh when we make facebooks mm. later on Holy in life crap. and he's a totally different person and i'm like like who are you who is this you know Holy who's your, that's who's crazy. your pictures yeah hmm. and he what was are like, his oh, motives? my cousin he, he told me, oh, he was like, yeah, I just, I thought he was cool, you know, and I wanted to be like him and I can't be mad at that, you know, so. Okay, never, so that like, was um, kind of like the reveal. That was like the, the ultimate That reveal. was when I knew for okay. sure. And then uh, I yeah. thought back and I was like, oh, the other guy must have been another catfish. Yeah. So. But usually Sad, if you, you catfish, you know, you, there's a motive, right? You want attention. You're lonely. You want weird, weird pictures. Like, did he ever do anything inappropriate at all during the time Never i mean five really. years is you know you, you get to know way too much about someone after five years <laughs> yeah, something would have popped up yeah yeah if you had more of a motive too i feel like you get to a foster like you yeah. you, you don't usually take five years to deliver uh that like really weird motive. malice um, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i think he was just he was a kid too you know he was okay. a kid too going through the same insecure thing insecure about his looks in and stuff. insecure but also a safety thing my sister and i used different pictures one time too because we were afraid of showing our faces um this is that's another story face. but not real yeah, <laughs> so. yeah no that's um, that is interesting yeah <clears throat> i don't know like it, 
Yeah, it's it's interesting. Um, you said you had a crush on him too. Uh, probably my but, last but was, question. But was it not here. the picture though? Was it because of the um, you know, like, or was it the picture? The Should we go spent, find his cousin? Yeah, you know, the I time you guys spent. No, no, no. Was it like the time you guys spent together and like the interaction? Right? Was that what was attractive? To and not really the picture, I guess. Because we can find like, his cousin. No, no. <laughs> no <laughs> I appreciate what? that. That'd be crazy. Mm. But no, it was really, yeah, it was really just like he was my oldest friend. Mm. I moved a lot growing up. Um, my parents worked in television, so they would move to different stations. Oh. Um, so, yeah. So, like, I moved a lot growing up, didn't really have any friends from childhood. And then he was my friend from childhood, you know? Oh, wow. So, yeah, it was kind yeah. of sad. That's but no, no, that's, that's nice it's just it's kind online's, of yeah, I wasn't yeah really on, online has a lot of ups and downs you know the ups oh and, yeah mm. like a hundred percent man mm, yeah absolutely it's really like it's funny like i don't know if i've ever i've been catfished once i i know for sure all and right it was let's really hear weird. it all right well, it was just <laughs> it was might as well it was, it i'll was, share not, i'll share one too i'll share one too it's not much Ooh. of a story but it was literally just like i it was on tinder okay <laughs> And um, so it was recent. Uh, <laughs> oh, it, was, it was a few <laughs> years ago. It was a few <laughs> years ago. It was this year. You just gonna let her do that to you? Oh, Rick, Rick's I can... with someone nowadays. I'll, I'll, I'll click the X on her right now, Rixie. Just tell me, man. That I'm was... just thinking. I'm, I'm gonna drop myself in the dirt so bad telling this story, but <laughs> might as well. Listen, might I, as well. I don't know if uh, many of our male audience use Tinder, but uh. Listen, I, I live up. in the middle of nowhere, okay? Like <laughs> listen, I I'm digging a hole. Listen, I ain't gonna lie, man. Half the time I'm not I'm not even looking. I'm just like <laughs> You know what I mean? Right? You take it is what it is. And mm -hmm. I matched with somebody who had like a fake profile and they were like they were like, Oh, it's you. Like it was someone that knew me from school, but they had like a random profile that obviously it wasn't them. And they were just upfront about it. They were just like, Hey, this isn't this picture isn't me, but I would like to get to know you. And that was about it. That's like my Oof. only experience of being catfished. And I, I didn't like it. Yeah, they, they said that they were on there. She was like, uh, I made the account with my friend as a joke to like mm. see what was on here. And they were on there like messing around and like seeing, I don't know, whatever they were up to. But like, it's not a way to start like any kind of relationship, in my opinion, like based upon like deception. I, I oh, don't like yeah, that. Agree, oh, absolutely, but, yeah, agree. Oh, absolutely. But it, I mean, it's not, you know, it was nothing crazy, but yeah, that was it. That, was that, that wasn't your, that wasn't your worst story, though, you know? But that, I mean, that's also I've heard a couple worse stories from oh, there is, the podcast. There's another okay. one, but I ain't telling it, man. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us what it's podcast one. it's on so that the viewers can <laughs> oh. refer back to it, right? Oh, there's yeah. some stories about Tom flinging things over fences you might not want to hear. They were the old ones. Bro, do you know those podcasts still get comments like our old podcast when we were a little bit like off the rails or <laughs> well, mainly myself off the rails but we are, those are the good like, times yeah. <laughs> I, I actually went back to one of those a while back and I, I think i watched a bit of one and there were comments on it people are still watching them and they love it but yeah that was yeah, many, yeah. Many it's, years it's a small ago, circle but people are die hard when, when they when they do the, that, the so. genesis collection of rakesy's beautiful <laughs> stories i love it yeah like oh god the dumpster fire stories <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I mean, like, I never, I never really truly got catfish other than like the standard, you know, probably a dude pretending to be a girl on RuneScape and be like wanting to be my girlfriend and, and me being a, a kid that didn't really understand what that really means, but it still, it still felt good. So you say yes, right? I'm like, okay. And then like, they just liquidate your bank account in two days. And then, well, like, you know, you give them stuff. They're like, can I get money? Oh, I was like, did you just let them on your account? Back no, no. Back? And then I'll be like, you know, I'll give them all my like hard earned, like coal mined from the mining guild and like all the smithing. Like, I, I got. This guy yeah. has three Tebos. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. But yeah, like, Rice, like, you got to be careful, yeah, man. No, but that you was just like, tell them that people. was like a minor one. I'm pretty sure it was probably a dude at that point, right? Because then after two days, like, the person just like vanished, right? And then I lost like 50K worth of stuff. You know, it was a lot of money back then. Dude, that, uh, that, that reminds me. Away, you know? I saw. Uh, I, I don't I'll know tell how you the real catfish story, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know why I use Twitter, but I, this thing popped up on my feed. Like, you know, people like stuff that you follow and stuff like that. It was like a post by some RuneScape girl who was she, she wrote a post. She basically scammed her online boyfriend's Tebow, and the post was just like me listening to your shit every day. Is the the Tebow is payment for that? You're not getting it back. <laughs> and I, I just read it. I was like, Oh my god, that's enough, that's enough Twitter for today. I'm that's done. some really <laughs> weird. That's some really wild like logic there. No, I'll yeah, tell you like, like real oh. cap story though. 
tell you a real catfish story, like uh, involving you know RuneScape community, involving my my friend. Like, so uh, I, uh, one of my one of my long time friends that I made on Twitch uh, that streams, his name was Canadian RS. He had like this crazy like year long thing going on. Not not like that he was he was a part of the relationship or anything. It was just like one of his one of his viewers, right? Like girl named Sarah, you know like got really deep into his community and he started and that that girl started like you know hitting up all those other dudes that are, are in his stream and at some point this girl started like dating some of the his viewers and like he, you know things were just getting heated and like there was a lot of drama and uh if i That's remember awesome. like my, my boy hayes he was just like yo i you know I, I gotta i gotta ban you like you're causing a lot of trouble you're taking people's items and not giving it back when they ask etc cetera, etc cetera. And, and like you know, at some point, you know, he had to ban her. He had to like ban this person, and then like, and then like it's so weird because, because like you know, you thought like, oh, okay, you know, everything's good. This person's causing trouble, gone. And then I remember, uh, I was watching one of my other friend streams who were all like in the same circle, and that person showed up on on my friend stream, right? And I was like, okay, all right, this girl, this person's trouble, right? But like, obviously, my my other friend just, you know, he wasn't like. He wasn't aware of that, and and you know the you know the you know the person called Reed, like on yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah Reed right dude out of nowhere, out of nowhere he was in the same stream as me and my friend, and then he saw this person on the chat, and then he he like out out of nowhere called this person out like it's like it's like it's like SDFU catfish. I was just I was so confused because like at that point I didn't know what you know who this person well, was. <laughs> I was just like, well, what the heck? He just came out of nowhere and called this person a catfish. I mean, I know I know this person just got banned on my other friend stream for causing trouble. And then like it, it gets crazier. It gets crazier because like out of nowhere, all these things start happening involving this person that we used to know. Right? It's like out of nowhere, some but some people came up to my 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 friend Kanin RS, right, and told him and told him some crazy stuff happened. He was like Oh uh, yeah, you know the Sarah person, or whatever. Uh, that that that's actually a dude. He uh, you know he uh he he like hacked into one of his high school friends, like female actual female friends, like you know like I don't know Facebook or Instagram or something, and then like took his took her pictures and used it as like his profile online, and like you know he's been using that identity to like you know like basically hit up dudes, right? So he like you know she was he was hitting up like you know people from his community on discord and like you know get into like some weird relationships and stuff like that and, and and then you know at some point they they told him to that like you know they they found out and they they told the actual owner about it and then like she's pressing charges on this guy and stuff like that i was just like holy shit that's crazy we like, need to have read on the podcast so we can hear that year. from his side <laughs> yeah i don't know how he knew i never talked to him about it i just randomly saw him one time in my friend's stream, calling this person out out of nowhere before I even so, found out. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Crazy. we should. I don't even know how. Out. Like, yeah, I don't like the thing is it was like different parties of people. Like, I don't even know who told my friend Kenny RS about. It. He just told me that like, like some people came up to him and told him about it, and I was the, like, the what? thing is, it's like, so crazy. It's actually, I was like, it's quite sad. Yeah, I think because yeah. like it's like there's in my mind I'm like there's two reasons to why somebody would catfish. It's reason one. They're really lonely and they don't feel like they're enough to be interesting to somebody, which is sad, man. That's horrible. Yeah, I, I or, have some sympathy. I agree. Yeah. I have some sympathy. Or there's like a financial thing that they're trying to gain from it, in which case, you know, they're just. Have you got. Have you, I'm, I'm assuming Jilly Fish has seen this because she's going to have seen this. And if she hasn't, she needs to watch it. I think it's called uh, Tindler Swindler. It's on Netflix. Never have you seen, seen that? Yeah, I yeah, have, yeah. So that I... that's that's crazy. I don't know if the boys have seen it or not. No, but... I'm not. No, no, no. I was just right, gonna say the third it. reason that um okay, <laughs> the third reason there might be that that catfish guy or girl is just collecting RuneScape dicks, just just a bunch of pictures, just one folder, just going through every person I, streaming. It, I don't know yeah. if girls are the same as us, man. I don't know. Well, it they, could be a guy. No, no, it, it was could a be dude. A guy. That's so, yeah, it was oh, a dude. Yeah. It, it, it was could a dude. And that's yeah, why, like, she... they're so mad because she's just got a, or he's just got a folder of like dick pics from like every person, <laughs> and they're like, "Get out of our chat! I trusted you, you know, or something." Oh god! Yeah. But I just sorry. I just that was on my mind. Maybe that was a third reason. Sorry. Would yeah. you ask Jilly again <laughs> <laughs> about the Tindler Swindler, dude? <laughs> uh, oh, I god. wanted to get that out there. Like, what? Well, there's some really severe cases. I mean, I'm sure there's some extreme yeah. stuff out there. You know, like, 
Oh, like, what I just like, told you is probably like some of the more tamer, you know, yikes ones, yeah. you know? I, I, have mean, a, I have a funny story about catfishing that's not as, as dark if you guys yeah. want to hear it, if we're all sharing stories. Sure, might as well. Yeah, yeah, it I wasn't me, it. though, because... Thank God. Of course it was. Come on, don't be ashamed. Now, we will, I will well, be catfish, man. Come on. Tom, you, you were saying back... <laughs> Fuck up, Tom. Yo, back in the day you said you did Desert Treasure. I dreamed of doing Desert Treasure. I was so shit at the game. There was nothing to take. The key logger was taking my accounts every day anyways, bro. I had nothing. That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> you want 10k? I all got fucking 10k, bro. It wasn't yeah. me. I, I promise you. I was I was literally making female characters hoping people would come up and give me money. You know, it was it was fucking bad. Oh, all right, the reverse. But yeah, yeah, a slightly funny kind of sad story. It was my first year of streaming. Really tight knit community. Still do. Um, some of the OG names are here. And uh, one of my viewers named Foofy. Big big support. Oh, I know him, bro. I still yeah him, yeah. Man. Well, tell him this story because he was in really uh, big cahoots with this. Uh, female which i think actually turned out to be a female if that matters and i would just read the chat and they would i mean it was weird because you know as a starter stream sometimes the chat wouldn't move so it'd just be like a date i mean i'd be just like fucking doing something it'd just be like talking I'm like do i interjoin do i read this shit out loud it's a little fucking creepy bro yeah yeah you know? yeah, yeah no so, i hate when people start hitting each other up like that like you know, it, it was out. it was weird but it was a community right i'm like i'm gonna build stream i saw skill specs he did this all right so we're gonna do all this shit this must be yeah. made kbd know? masses every day whatever <laughs> and uh one day foofy dms he's like i'm gonna ask her to marry me on runescape and i'm like do people fucking do that he goes yeah, yeah man I have can you come few. I yeah, can it. you come to the wedding, bro? It's in it's in Camelot Sears, and I'm like, all right, whatever. Oh. So, Sears, what? Out of all no, locations, is that a bad that. marriage spot? Oh, I don't. Trees? Are you serious? And the agi- people running the agility course through your wedding? <laughs> you got viewers. I'm no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying it's always drag. <laughs> Anytime I've attended any uh, weddings, it's always been a drag. Well, mate, well, no, maybe. No, 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 no. There's a beautiful small chapel right next to Port Serum, and you assign your friends yep. to kill oh, the giant rats. Yeah. <laughs> they have to kill the giant rats and pick up the bones oh and the meat. So that way the rats aren't there. I remember um, going to a Varak bar shop, you know? Everyone drinks, you know? <laughs> like, <Yes>. <laughs> How <laughs> many yeah. weddings have you guys attended in RuneScape like, now? Like, less than five. Probably. I've heard of the weddings in the wilderness near the altar getting crashed, and I always laugh. But um, <laughs> back back to Sears, dude. Maybe maybe you called this shit out because I guess it wasn't really a wedding, right? So Foofy's just kind of typing in chat what's happening. He's like, "Oh, she traded me a diamond ring. I gave her a berserker ring, and then all of a sudden I'm like, where'd she go? <laughs> oh, <that's it. laughs> fucking gone, bro. It was like a Whoa. month in my chat. I never like, saw someone log out as fast. I'm Wait, like, Foofy, where'd she go? <laughs> Dude, it was like a month, bro. I'm like, Foofy, where, where, where'd she go, yeah, bro? Are you going to give her the ring? Oh. And he's like, I just gave her a berserker ring. And I'm like, oh, that makes a lot of sense now. She's gone to yeah. imbued it, man. So good. <laughs> she was in it for the long haul. That's crazy. God. Oh. God. God. Yeah, there's a lot was... of crazy shit that happens. Like, this reminds me of some other stuff that's actually happening in today's time, but it's not really like I call it friendship fishing. It's really fucked up, like really messed uh, up. Oh, are you talking what about those that? clans? Yeah, we've had. Uh, um, um, I can't remember. Oh, so, so well, like I guess. this is this is like very like um, it's like these. It's still happening to this day, which is really sad. But I'll, I'm warning you guys: do not make any friends in the Grand Exchange because there it's a notorious group, a few groups of people. What they do is they'll they'll probably look you up, you know, because you're in GE, right? You're selling shit. They'll look you up, see what you got, like quick size up, and then they'll they'll you know add you, want you to be friends, small talk, get you on their Discord, get you feeling you know really good about like this friendship that you just built for like a month or something, and then they'll you know they'll gain your trust, and then what they'll do is they'll they'll like try to get you in on this like anti lore thing, you know, and like oh, you'll 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 just fall for it so smooth because they just. They just psychologically got you so locked oh, in God. that that's yeah, like up. it just happens, man. They they they'll anti lore someone because you know they tell you this really, you know, like believable story, and the next thing you know, it you're in a PvP world, you get accidentally dragged out of the bank, and you lose all your shit because you know everybody's in. Yeah, it's really fun, and, like Dude, that's every different. month I get these like you know of some of my viewers. One of my close friends, JFK, is FK. He lost his Tebow because of that, mm. you know. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Like it, it happens all the time. And and you know what's fucked up? They'll record that shit and they'll put it on YouTube. You know, he yeah, found like his own video of him getting 
you know. Did you hear the voice in the back? Was he commentating? I don't, I don't remember. I only watched. I didn't want to really watch it, watch it because it's so cringy, you know. But like, I remember. Did you hear him breathing? <laughs> you know, just fucking some of that shit, it's dude. Like Darth the video. Vader, dude. Yo, it's no, it's really, it's, it, yeah, it's like crazy, man. It's, it's like the manipulation, yeah. like it's so fucked up. Like, how do you gonna make friends with someone for a month? No, that's dude, that's life? wrong, man. That's really oh, messed I, up. Like, so you know, what I used to, I used to do like some like shady shit back in the day. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like, but like taking like, advantage of friendship, like, oh, that, dude, oh, God, you gotta so be a cool. different breed of human to do yeah, that no, i'm telling you man that's like some psychotic shit it's that, that's like, i remember i remember this one time we were learning this guy and i don't know what how it happened but he ended up coming into our team speak and the moment that we heard him speak me and my friends we couldn't do it to him we were just like yeah, you we, we, were just, we, we, we literally just said to him we're like look man we were about to take all of your stuff but you know we're not going to do it now, but if you want, you can get in on it with us the next time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then he, 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 yeah, he became part of the team speak, man. Like he was. Dude, that's uh, how you grow yeah. a base of villains, what dude. Like, yeah. friendship with villains. Now nah, he's he's not like uh, this anymore. He's, he's, that, that's he's how Rot was really founded, cool. is what you're saying, bro. That one interaction. <laughs> oh god! Who was that I mean, guy the, guy who who stopped by my stream and was really nice to me? Which one? I don't Wait, know. Wait, what? Enough, but <laughs> oh, a raw guy. Oh, yeah, a raw guy. That, and I just oh, had yeah. to say, you strong. know, I don't know. Maybe, like, maybe they're not all bad. I don't know. Yeah, like, some, I don't there's know, some. I don't know. I don't know anything guys, about them. Hearts I mean, of gold. Yeah. yeah. Hearts they're, of gold. They're definitely, listen, you can't summarize a whole group of people just oh, by absolutely a few not. rotten apples. I, but I will say this when the rotten apples are the ones that are recruiting. The fresh apples. Oh yeah. There's usually there's usually something conversions, man. There's some conversions that happen sometimes. It's not it's not always the case, but like I'm sure there's a bunch of really nice dudes in rot, but for I don't know. Like here's the thing. It's like they know that they're entering like a community of people that do things a certain way. They know that, right? Like you know who ran the terror is. They've been around for the longest time. So it's like you're kind of like okay with that shady shit happening. I always, so, I always yeah, it's one of those things where you realize the world's kind of not black and white. It's very gray. So sometimes you let certain yeah. things slide, and you're okay with that. Which I don't think there's anything wrong with that because I don't think you can be like 100 percent pure or whatever. You know, the world is yeah. not necessarily like that. So I'm not gonna and, say like, oh, that's a really, it's an evil group or whatever. It's just some, you know, they do some really shitty stuff for sure. Known for yeah, that, but, but there's yeah. still some, you know, there's still some reasonable people in there. So, Dude, I... I remember they hacked my YouTube account in like 2009 and they literally deleted all my videos and then just <laughs> at, at that time there was a sidebar on YouTube and they just put www.reignofterror like their <laughs> thing. <laughs> And then it was like hacked oh by God. insert the guy's name. Oh I, I remember, dude. I remember the Never. day, like literally, like a year later. Oh, that I... guy that hacked my YouTube, right? Because he left his name. He applied for the clan I was leading, right? My PK team, and I got him all the way in Teamspeak. And I was just like, there is no fucking way on this curve you're ever joining my team. And I was like, get the fuck out of here, man. I was he like, was you're just not joining. a really big fan. God. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, no, it's kind of true. There's some obsessiveness to that, you know? Like, I, I, listen, some of the I, people I, I, who are the meanest to you will end up being your biggest fans, yeah. Or, or are your biggest fans, and that's why they're so mean to you. Yeah, yeah it's so... very strange. I've I've had some interactions. Yeah, in, in, really yeah, in animes, yeah. they do that a lot. But never mind, mm. another topic. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I, I, I will add, I've, I got no beef with Reign of Terror, and I mean this it, with all sincerity. I don't hear anything about Reign of Terror anymore, so I don't... Yeah, not I, much. I, I, oh, you want to know why? What are they doing? Are they still yeah, playing RuneScape? Yeah, they were last night on my stream. I was doing a mass. They, they showed up, fucked everybody. Like five times, <laughs> they're they're out. Yeah, they're Roman, bro. They were super uh, yeah. super nice people. Uh, <laughs> dude, I don't, I don't think want to some say of those. Anything. I don't think some of those uh, veterans will ever leave that clan. They're always yeah, you know, live that lifestyle, right? That's that's a lifestyle now, you know. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about clans because yeah, I yeah, honestly, no, that's a I'm, slightly different separate mm, topic. Okay, nothing good to say. So um, and yeah. it, if, if it makes you feel any better about these people, man, listen, I'll tell you this: if in today's age, I was still running those clans back in the day. We would have 100% came to your streams and targeted you. And I love <laughs> you now. But I'm just saying, those people can change, dude. Like, those people can change. It's just up they to can. them. Yeah. Yeah, I, I honestly, they're not in my brain anymore. It's just, um, God. 
forgot what I was going to say. I'm just thinking of like every <laughs> moment of rot that's popped up. I remember back in the day they would stream snipe people on Deadman mode and you just see the N word blared over and over <laughs> and over and over. And I just God. was like, oh my yeah. God. But um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, let's, let's talk about more, more, yeah. uh, you know, child jellyfish uh moments um have you ever gotten scammed or anything like that any, any like I moments have. Yeah. yeah talking about being scammed um so i was hanging out in falador guy comes up to me <laughs> <laughs> guy comes up to me i'm free to play i i think at the time i'm not i'm not actually 100 percent sure i think so i think it's free to play i'm pretty certain it's right below so um hanging out in falador guy comes up to me he's like Hey, you look like a really nice person. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. I try to be. <clears throat> He's like, um, so I'm working on this quest right now. And in the quest, I really need assistance from someone. I'm thinking, oh, Shield of Arav, right? And he oh. goes, there's a table and there's an object on it. And I need someone else to pick it up for me so that they can treat it to me so that I can have it. I'm like, okay, sounds good. He's like, just follow me. I'm like, okay, well, I've never picked up an object and had anything bad happen. Uh, and some of you guys might know where this is going. So I'm following him and he starts walking towards the wilderness. And I'm like, you're taking me to the wilderness. And he's like, no, 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 no. I'm not taking you to the wilderness, but it's right next to the wilderness. I'm like, okay. So we walk into something that looks like a church, right? There are guys in robes. The robes are red. And on the table, there's a jug of wine. Mm, oh. The holy grail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wait, you must have you must have clicked like, that thing over and over. Like, oh, yes. I'm like, I just have to pick up the wine. I clicked it once. <laughs> Instantly, yeah. I, like my life flashes before my eyes because they started talking you the second you click it. My oh, life yeah. flashes before my eyes. I went down faster than I could say anything in the chat. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I literally had the basically, I you know, I fell for the same war that you did, except I had yeah. like some, I had some light points, so it, you know, it was mine was a slower death. You know, <laughs> I don't yeah. know if that's better or worse. Uh, but basically, you know, I you know I fell for the same thing. I clicked on it. I, I think I had like 20, 30 life points. So you know they couldn't down me in an instant. But um, I was like, oh, I'm getting attacked. Okay, I know what to do. I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna exit now, right? So I'm like, I'm like, okay, let's go. Click on the door. But then and the, the door. There? Yeah, he keeps <laughs> closing it. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, open. Uh, go no nope. every time he just kept he was so good at it i could not get out so i'm just ah. watching myself for like 30 seconds just getting punched constantly you know and i was like i, I Dude, can't do anything do you think that's partly the I reason so why sad, they added though. the ladder inside of there i don't know i just felt so sad though because i was like maybe this guy was level 50 he told me i was gonna make 50k I was going to have a great friend, you know, going to teach me the ways. And what do you take you for, Rice? What do you take you Honestly, for? Honestly, like, probably a thousand gold, which took me, like, weeks to, to you know, scavenge <laughs> off of whatever oh, I did. No. I don't that know. makes it even <laughs> sweeter. Guards, no, yeah. I was, like, serious. I was just like, damn, like, you know, as a kid, I was just like, I was like, wow, that's, like, I, I don't know what I'm feeling, yeah. but it's like, it's it, it really sucks, you know? Um, I was, like, sad, like, man. I was like, It's sad. not even about what you lost. It's yeah. just about losing faith in humanity at such yeah, a no, young literally. age, yeah. you know? Yeah, it was sad. I was like, I, I was like it, dang. I feel like there's, like, people have Happen. different perspectives on this, right? But, like, yeah. for me, when it comes to that kind of stuff... I learned I a lot, it, but still, that did, Yeah, I see it as a life lesson, you know? Like, it is, it there is. are many experiences you can learn. I remember as a very innocent child playing RuneScape, being scanned for the first time, and the emotion surrounding that, where I was in disbelief that anybody would be that ill-intentioned to yeah, take my yeah, stuff. A part of that. You know, and I, I, and I, I feel like, <laughs> to be honest with you, I look back at it and I'm like, I was just a child, I was na naive. Like, of course I was going to think like that. But it's like, well, luckily I learned it from a video game where it doesn't really matter that much that I lost a Torag's helm versus, you know, maybe losing like several thousand pounds in real life or something Tender like Sandler that. Type. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a copium, yeah. you know, that's our way of copium, you know, coping with that. It's like a couple, um, yeah. yeah, it's like a couple of years ago when they were talking about the Bitcoins, like all those um, famous people got hacked and were sending messages oh, saying, man. send me Bitcoin and oh. I'll double your money. And <laughs> I was see like, that. Uh, I yeah, all those players first, so. would never fall for this. So yeah. Yeah, yeah true true i mean ever since those few times i got scammed at trade you know like you know trade scammed 
in free to play. I've never been trade scam ever since. Never, ever. Because I just remember it hitting me so hard. I'm just like, this is what the world's really about, huh? You know? I'm like, yeah, now man. I know, you know? And I'm like, I'm never letting that happen again. Because I was it, devastating, I, I guess. Man, <laughs> it's like, you, I, I still have that to this day, you know? It's like, when I'm playing, I'm at the moment I'm playing a lot of Tarkov, which is like a first-person shooter, and it's, you lose everything. It's basically the wilderness. And sometimes I'll kill people in a way where it's like, oh my god, that poor guy. But like, at the same time, I'm just like, well, he should have learned a lesson from that. You know, next time you go in that Hope area, you. make sure you check that spot because <laughs> someone might be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, like, that's more like, about it. like I guess that's just more like you sign up for that, you know, because that's yes, how the game is. Like, but like RuneScape, obviously, yeah. you, you don't really go into playing this 2D pixel game thinking like people are going to literally no. rob you naked, right? Like, and they will. <laughs> they will. Always, you know what I mean? Like I, I didn't expect that. I just thought I, I just, I, you know, sign up, play a game with other kids, and you know, like, yeah. And sometimes it. adults, and, mm. and then yeah, there were some teenagers that are crafty as hell. They'll bait you, but man, yeah. now I, I think it's funny though, because like when I talk about this on, you know, like streams or something, and then like a lot of the people were actually d scammers, yeah. Right? They're like, yeah, I remember I used to actually do that to people. But like they're like, nah, 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 I wouldn't do that now. Like you know, I, I, I like that was pretty fucked. Like a lot of them do realize like they, what they did was pretty, not yeah, that was just not cool. Which I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's that's a great way to look at it. Maybe that guy, nowadays, he's like you know, he's super over that, you know, and whatnot. But yeah, that's I'll like be honest, I, look at it. <clears throat> I think a big thing now that <clears throat> some people get, and that I feel like some people are still le- so, we're some people still need to understand is that with old school runescape now a lot of the player base a lot of the people who still play it are people who played it as kids right um but the player Mostly, base yeah. isn't isn't growing tremendously i don't think like i don't think that we're really recruiting a lot of new players so whenever people scam or whenever people talk about how much they hate osrs development or whenever people fight with jmods i feel like they forget that it it kind of creates a negative impression around old school RuneScape versus yeah. like if people were nicer, if people did respect JMods more, like if people cared more about development and were nicer about their ideas, um, then I feel like it creates a better outward impression. And then we recruit more people to the game and then we all are better off because of it in a sense, you know? Yeah. Um, but I think that people don't always think about how we could all benefit from like creating a positive community and instead they just... They want their toxic negative community and forget that that kind of leads to the game dying. That kills the game, you know? But mm-hmm. I, I completely yep. agree. Every every word you just said, every clan has the ability, whether it's PVM, scaling, or PKing, to set a positive influence. And uh, most times, they they choose to set an influence, mainly not positive, like, at all. So I, I wish I wish it was that way. Please don't teabag me in the wilderness. You know? <laughs> God, could you imagine adding that emote? I probably see it a lot. <laughs> you know, I, I, I do agree with what you're saying for sure. Um, and there is a lot of just like pointless negativity out there. But like yeah, yeah. at the same time, it's like it's fine to criticize if it's, you know, constructive criticism. I think that's a okay. I've got no problem with saying, hey, certain JMOD, this update sucks. Insert for this reason. No problem at all with that. But if it's just like the hey, <laughs> this sucks, it's like, well, there isn't that. Nothing helpful comes from that. The people, the people working at Jagex, it's like you know, it, they're used to it at this point. They <laughs> Thanks for hurting my game. my uh, emotions. You know, for no reason. I, I'm not. Mm. By the way, that's not me saying you're invited to do that by any means. But I'm just saying, like, give the reason to why you dislike it, and that's fine. Like, there's no problem with that in my eyes. Yeah, but I like, think that they're. Oh, thank you. I think that there are nice ways. <laughs> Sorry. I, I think there are nice ways to go about giving feedback. And we do it all the time in day-to-day life, you know, in our jobs and professionally, uh, if you have one, you know. But uh, um but I think, I think... <laughs> she's digging at us, boys. My god. No, no, no. I need to go cry. <laughs> But I genuinely think like there there are better and easier ways to give feedback that can be positive and nice, like as nice as you can be. And the people who are receiving the feedback are going to be more receptive to the feedback that you're delivering if you're nice about the way that you're delivering it, you know? Yeah, like like feedback already takes a lot of emotional energy to like accept. But then if you already make it negative, it's like, ah, oh, you know, extra bad, you know, it's like, 
dang. But but like I you know I think obviously there, it's a very complex topic, right? Like a lot of uh, you know mental health stuff involved. But like our community is mostly twenty year olds. Like you know, let's be real. That's just the truth. Like they even like you know did the service and stuff. And and yeah. and I I think I think there's you know pros and cons, right? Like we have a really low community, so we'll, we'll probably you know probably keep it going forever, even in, in our thirties. But but because we're so concentratedly old older old concentrated mature we we look at the world more negatively nowadays right and like a lot of that in, inevitably just kind of like gets um you know splash onto the the gaming part of it the gaming can be part of it like we're you know we gotta be uh, responsible we gotta pay taxes uh you know take care of kids or something you know do adult stuff and a lot of it's just not fun and i, I feel like a lot of that just impacts our community yeah, naturally which sucks and then it really makes it hard because then it's like, how how do the kids want? How do the kids gonna get into this game? Because like this game is just so mature, you know. It just feels so mature at times. Like, do you know how many times, like when people ask me questions, they're always like, "What is the most efficient way to do something?" I'm like, "Homie, it's a game. Just play the game. You know, have fun, right?" But it's always down to like, can you please just tell me the most efficient way to do something? Because like they keep thinking RuneScape is like life. It's like, it's like you know, how should I do things in this second life? Like this, you know. Like they think about it like it's not really a game, which is kind of sad, you know. But like, if I don't know if we could ever change that perception, like remind ourselves, like, yo guys, probably you know, it's a game. We, we I think it's because RuneScape's not a casual remember. game, and people don't want to waste their time. Like yeah. that's it. well, I and mean, also, I think that's being, too, but yeah, like being in your twenties, you don't have a lot of time to play games as much as we did as kids, yeah. you know. Yeah. So you just want to get as far as you can in the little time you have. No, that that is that is true. But that is true. That is true. I, I will agree. say I don't feel like the um the efficiency scape side of it is as hurtful as like people who are deliberately mean and they're def it's yeah, yeah. few and far between. And I hate to generalize like the entire mm. OSRS audience because this isn't the case for most people, but. Yeah. They're definitely small subgroups of the community that like hate specific content creators or hate on children being in the game, you know, or are like wait, what? Wait, back up. Know? Who's hating on children in the game? Is there is there's like NPCs? There are people who like pick children. on cute noobs in the game. Oh, yeah. I thought oh, yeah, like, like that. Yeah, innocent. Okay. Yeah, they pick I was thinking innocent. of like a group of people who hate on like the way children look in RuneScape or something. Hate like, children, <laughs> just gnome child. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. <laughs> Get them out of here. Gnome child. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. I agree. I don't think they're necessarily highly correlated. I'm, I just, I just think that I think it's incredibly correlated. I have this discussion a yeah, lot. Yeah, like, my yeah, I feel like stream. there's correlation, but at the same time, I agree that there are a lot of people that enjoy the game efficiently, but not necessarily be like, oh, you're a noob, you're, you're, you're a scrub for not doing it that way. Like, I, I, there are people that will do that too. So it's kind of like a fine line, you know? Right? There's some moderate co correlation, but I'm just well, saying, that's... like. I'm just painting the picture here, right? Like this is us, yeah. our community, twenty years old. A lot of us are focused on that efficiency, and a lot of us don't really try to like encourage people to kind of just not saying us, but like a lot of people, oftentimes without thinking, they'll just tell people to do the most efficient thing or whatever, right? Rather than just kind of like letting them know, remind them like, hey, hey guys, you know, take a step back, breathe. This is a video game. Remember how we kind of just enjoy the game because we, you know, something exciting like. We saw something, it hit our heart in a way that was like, I want to do it. Like, remember what it's like, because that's that's the kind of, I feel like, attitude this game needs more. If we wish to bring a bit more of that, like, you know, the new kids, the new age back into the game. Because, like, <laughs> like, like, why do people play Fortnite, you know, a lot of times? It's they see something exciting, and they just want to do it. Right? It's not like, you know, it's not there's not a whole lot to it. So, yeah, that's yeah. kind of the idea of it. I, now, and I think that... Sorry, Jill, you say what you are going to go? I'm sorry. Um, I think that a lot of it too can start with, um, and I hate to like, you know, uh, being <laughs> kind, being kind to creators, you know, because I think that <sighs> as creators, like we've all received some sort of like negativity or hate, and what does it make us do? Like it makes us want to create for a different game, uh, you know. And so I think that it really stems from being kind mm -hmm. to creators and not saying like negative things to creators. If you don't like a specific creator, like don't harass them to leave the game because they may recruit a certain type of person to join the game. Yeah, and we're the biggest joining, markers. Yeah. Anyone joining joining the game is positive. Uh, there have been other like really big creators who have come on old school RuneScape and tested it out, and you know 
some people have really pushed them away from it. There are a lot of girls that are pushed away from streaming old school RuneScape because of like what they receive. And thank goodness I've never received that um, to the level that I think some people have. But like, just be nice because it helps everyone, you know? So Yeah, should yeah. we talk about streaming struggles? Well, I was going to say that, uh, Rice, you're kind of talking about those ego players. I think Jilly's more focusing on the, the yeah, small I think substrat aspects, of those incredibly yeah, toxic people, oh, not some. just in PKing, mm -hmm. skilling. It's like, uh, there's, there's a, I like I like to use the phrase silent majority, which is most of RuneScape. You know, we're not going to be rude. Usually most people don't vote on polls. And there's a very small, not silent at all, probably the loudest part of the community that's incredibly incredibly toxic and there is actually a streaming pressure right not just for women i'm sure that's got to be awful but uh i gotta say an iron man might have to deal with something but if you're a pvp content creator you're more likely to get stream sniped in your first hour of streaming and then your whole stream's ruined forever especially because there's no lack of content out there it only gives them more time for them to go and focus people i think every mass i've done this week uh, instantly been sniped by 20 to 30 people and it's all been different clans which is kind of impressive different groups of people have came to fuck us every night and they kind of switch out every hour too like they're tag teaming in and out it's it's actually crazy so when you say things like that i'm like bro this it, it really is uh just <laughs> streaming rs pvp content or something else you will get hate no matter what even if you're the nicest person in the world you will get shit on every yeah time. i mean to speak from my own perspective, like, I obviously I've had people be very hateful. Um, I think we all have, but like, I've never had it really bad. And what I mean by that mm -hmm. is if somebody comes into my stream and they say something like just straight up nasty and they're just being horrible, I'm just like, and you're gone. Banned. Easy. But I understand that there are people who they do that and then they make another account and come back and keep harassing. See, I've never, I've never experienced that. And I feel okay. like that is something that happens a lot more to women, female streamers, for sure, uh, than it does the male streamers. Um, I mean, I'm guessing, because you brought this up, Jellyfish, like you, you experience this a fair bit, or you have friends that, that do. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely have friends that have experienced really awful things. Um, I have not experienced much, but like... I'm also not afraid to file a police report if I do. And I'm and I'm vocal about that. I like if someone's messing with me, I'm like, hey bro, like this is against the law what you're doing. Like, I'll just file a, a police report, you know, <laughs> if if you want me to do that, like let's continue. But um, you know, I'm I'm not afraid to kind of take legal action where I need to. Uh, and I know my resources and I have connections to people who work in the legal system. But a lot oh. of people don't. A lot of people don't, and they don't know. Like they don't yeah. know what they can do and they don't know how to protect themselves. And they're just like trying to create content. And a lot of my girlfriends have experienced like really awful things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I was thinking about this the other day and I like this entire conversation about girls getting harassed that are streamers. And I was thinking, I know I don't watch her very much, but like when I think of like the most successful female streamer, first person that comes to mind is Pokimi, right? Instantly. And I don't know if she does this or not, or has, or hasn't, but like, I feel like a lot of female streamers could benefit from her, like, speaking about how she deals and dealt with that kind of stuff, considering, like, how successful she's been. Because she's obviously been through all of that stuff and probably deals with that, like, on a day to day basis. Like, and I wonder, like, she must have some really insightful advice for everybody on how to deal with that stuff. Like, I don't know if you watch her. Like, do you know if she's ever spoken about that kind of stuff? So, um, I don't follow her closely by any means, but my impression, and this might be wrong, is that um, I don't think that she in particular speaks out about these issues or talks much about like what to do. Um, she she had that uh, that story with the the other streamer that you know got a lot of attention over misogyny, but I don't think that she talks much about like the really creepy people or the people who are really disrespectful or mm -hmm. giving death th death threats yeah, that's scary um, to because talk about it. i yeah. and i think that she feels like it gives them the attention you know yeah. that they're seeking but there are other larger female creators um that do you know i think um 
uh, Brooke, Brooke AB is an example of a female creator who's kind of, I think in her sort of circle, I think she creates for a hundred thieves and I've seen Twitter posts of her like talking about it that I've gotten shared on my feed. Um, so it just depends, but I think that there's the fine line between wanting to talk about it to spread awareness and to help other people who are victims versus being afraid that like, that's all you're talking about. And is that like negative? And do you really want to, do you really want to yeah. scare people? And also, do you want to give those people attention, you know? So it's like, there's so many different factors yeah. um, at play when it comes yeah, to that. Yeah. It's, it's like, as like, um, you know, a male content creator, I like, I'm just, I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't know how I could even help. Do you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. And I will say, like, the one female content creator that I got to know, um, who I know for sure dealt with stuff that was, like, stalky and stuff, was um, the streamer Nightinator. And, like, God, the, like, extent that she takes it with, like, she wouldn't even tell myself and other content creators what her real-life name was. Like, she wouldn't even, like, open that door. Do you know what I mean? She was so secretive about that stuff. And she, she spoke about, like, the horrors and things that happened and, like, I can only imagine. I like it's. it's you crazy. haven't had that happen to you, dude. You haven't had like someone send you a Google Google Map and then they like circle your apartment and put an X over it. You haven't had that? Oh, no, I've never. Because we're talking like this is just a, a female problem, <laughs> which true. I I, and it's not, I think right? it's mostly. I, I would say it's fair fair that. No, I agree. The the right. majority probably right because a lot yeah. of lonely people out there. But I mean, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I, I I never talk about the harassment I go through all the time. Um, yeah, but just an example, time, right? Because I don't, I don't. You, when I talk about it, I get harassed more, right? It always happens. Oh, all the time. It'll probably happen in a couple oh. streams that I'm talking about this podcast. But anytime I bring it up. But I took a long break from stream just because there was no content going on. I kind of want to take a break, fresh my mind. It was about I don't know six months to a year. I start streaming again. Like the second first day, they're still there. So they don't take a break. Right. So it doesn't matter how long I stream, I will get harassed. And it's usually either the same people or new people that the same people have told to harass me. Right. It's usually like it's like a pyramid scheme of harassers. They'll go and tell their friend, hey, we met cows in a while. Let's go fuck with them. You know, and then all of a sudden it'll just like rain down in all the discords. And yeah, I mean, it's definitely not a stalkerish situation, but it, it could be. And it, and it actually a little bit. Right. So I, I don't like talking about that, but it's definitely. Everyone's yeah, got I a feel, problem, man. I'm I feel sorry, like when, yeah. yeah, that's gross. I mean, it's, I feel fortunate that I I don't get harassed like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm fortunate in that way. Yeah, it's not fun, but you can kind of mm -hmm. just numb it out usually. I'd assume when they start trying to find you is when it gets even worse. So, yeah, I'm sorry that, you know, females, maybe males have to deal with that as well. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be. really bad, yeah. Ooh, and also yeah, incredibly illegal, yeah. There's stuff that yeah. really brings, there's a lot of stuff that really brings safety into question. But at the same time, I will say, I think that the worst cases have been with a content creator or streamer who has gotten close to someone, you know, like has dated someone and then they've broken up and then that person becomes the, but yeah. I don't know. The bad apple. I guess. Yeah. 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 Those stories are <laughs> Yeah, know. I've seen a bunch of those. I mean, not not in RuneScape, but like just like, you know, they'll, they'll show up on the feed. You don't have a choice. They get, it gets retweeted enough times. You're like, oh, well. Oh, that becomes like the new buzz thing to look into. Like, imagine being a streamer and then like your your partner is just destroying your life and everyone wants to talk about it because it's interesting and they don't know about you, right? Yeah, so, I mean, a lot of these things seem like, you know, that, I mean, I, I wish we could all do something about it right away, but, but like, you know, on our end, we can do some things to like make it easier on ourselves. So like, you know, Jelly, what, what how, you know, how do you like keep yourself going, right? Like, you know, because like we talk a bit how, of how like, you know, it, it, it affects female streamers a lot more, like, you know, more of those hidden harassments and stuff like, you know, you said it, it didn't hit you as it didn't hit you as hard or anything, but I'm sure you have your own safety nets kind of like in place. So like, how do you tackle that? You know, keep it going. Yeah, um, I feel like I'm probably not the best advocate to talk about this. This is OK. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't know, like just <laughs> using on the Internet, you know, I think. um not using your real name is a really good tip. I mean, I'll, I didn't get that tip in time, but, but um, <laughs> yeah, just be careful about your information on the internet. Be careful about what you share. I used to talk about where I went to school and stuff like that. And 
people will find you. Yeah. Um, be really careful because sometimes your voter information has your address. That's happened to me and I had to get it taken down. So like, yeah, there's um, some, um, and thankfully it wasn't like my address, thank gosh, but it was like, it was an address near where someone that, you know, was a member of my family lived. And I was like, uh, um, so yeah, I think just be safe, better safe than sorry. And if you are someone that feels inclined to like harass someone else, and hopefully no one's watching this podcast that would, um, but I think it goes back to like, just be mindful, just be mindful that everyone's got, everyone's playing for the same team. You know, we're all playing for the same team. We all love old school RuneScape. We all want to see it do well. So I think just be mindful of that. Yeah. No, that's a good message. For sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, like my Facebook stuff, like, you know, unsearchable, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That helped. That certainly helps. Yeah. I, yeah. I just, I feel lucky. I've not had to experience that stuff. Well, you like, how much you have just you said? Don't... How much have you said, though? You know, like, I... I... Well, put it this way. Like, my entire, like, name and brand is my last name. Because it was my childhood nickname. I, I do get people messaging me on Facebook, like, Hey, dude, you're easy to find. <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Like, no, people... <laughs> You might want to cut that part out. I mean, you like, think there's editing going on in this? Yeah, <laughs> you cut that because no, no like, he's not. No, the thing is, it's too late. People he's already know. made it public. He's people already made it public know. a long time ago. Uh, people know. I don't I think I'm interested and... enough. If people want to know about That's me, the they can come to my stream and they can yeah, talk yeah. to me there. You yeah, know, his is like, easily findable. Yeah. That's the biggest thing for me. Is it's like I feel like. I am not important enough for you to spend your time. Like, stop wasting your time harassing me. I'm not important. I'm not an important person. I'm not important to the internet, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Me too I think, do, do you know, like, it, this is such an interesting conversation, especially to have with a female content creator, because, like, it, it's a difficult conversation to have. But, like, when it comes to a lot of gamers in particular, let's just go with the RuneScape community, right? It's like, firstly, if you're a gamer and you play a game like RuneScape, you have to commit a lot of time. Now, usually if you want to play RuneScape to a like a decent level and you want to become good at it and you're addicted to it and so forth, you're going to take most of your free time and you're going to play the game, right? And like, you know, I, I know for myself, because I played this as a child, like growing through, you know, going through teenage and all that stuff and into adult, it's like, I didn't really go out very much. You know, it was like, I just played games all the time and I wasn't really like at that point in my life, I wasn't really interested in women. Like I was just, I just wanted a PK. Like that was literally <laughs> all I cared about. like the full, like having a girlfriend. I'm just like, how can I do that? I got too much to do. Right. But it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think there's a lot of guys that kind of realize that they're quite lonely. Right. And it's like, uh, like, let's put it this way, okay? Like, Jellyfish, you're a good-looking girl. You know this, obviously. And, you know, <laughs> a lot a lot of girls who are on stream yeah, are. Like, yeah, hold on. Just... Rixie, you're, you're good-looking, too. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you, dog. I'm glad you got my back. You're good-looking, like, too, Rice. But my, my point is, if you're, you know, and, like, if you're a dude that doesn't get out very much, you're not very social, you play video games all the time, it, it's like, and then, you know, you go into, like, a stream with an attractive woman that sat there glowing. It, it's like, it's no wonder <laughs> Jesus these, dudes, these dudes get like a little creepy sometimes. I'm not defending their actions, I'm just saying. You're making like, make me blush. It, it all adds up, right? That's <laughs> what I'm saying, right? Hold up. Oh my God. I, that's, that's not me saying it's acceptable in any way, shape, or form, because there's like one, one thing to go into like a stream of an attractive streamer and be like, damn, she's hot, versus... I'm gonna find out where she lives. Like that's some fucking weird shit. <laughs> but like, it, it's just like God. I, I I don't know what can be done about it. Like I genuinely don't know what can be done about it. I wish there was a solution. And I'm sorry uh, for saying that if it made you feel uncomfortable <laughs> at all. Well, like but, it's know. not so not just like the like finding you per se. It's just like what their intentions are from that, right? Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Because I mean, like, yeah. But like, There's yeah, what's different the angle? Severity. What is yeah, the angle? Yeah, well, like different severities yeah. of that, yeah. for sure. Well, yo, Tom, I want you to break down one of my situations here, right? One of my viewers drops me 20 bucks. I'm like, hey, thank you. He goes, call me baby. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, dude. And then for like a month, he's like, hey, babe. So what, what would you break that down into, man? What would the, 
mindset be there? Is he that's, just lonely or do am I his type? Like what's going on there? You're his type. I'm terrified. I, I'm just seen another twenty. The guy's probably <laughs> trolling. He's probably nope. trolling. Nope. <laughs> nope. Wait, you think he's for real? Oh, there's a bunch real? of people for real, dude. I don't well, dude, know you just, why. You just gotta say. You just no, listen, man. man sometimes you put out that vibe into the into the world. You just gotta yeah, let them know that you know you're flattered, but you're not interested. I you know? do. Yeah. What do you mean, <laughs> bro? No. Have you seen? Man? I mean, dude, he's an attractive K Kona guy. You know. Yeah, dude, you're like, attractive here, right? I, no, I, I you might know. have to ban him, man. You might have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Please, not just you need to set. You need to set like a boundary. Right. Yeah, like when I thought about streaming, I never thought one of the things I would have to do is get over weird compliments, you know, like all the time. Because I've been taking Dude. a break from webcam and I just turn it back on. I'm like, <sighs> you know, <it's> just, <laughs> come on, bro. I got to read this like, shit. Yeah, yeah. It's like, damn, I wish I was ugly. Dude, I'm, I'm, it's not even like uh, I'm good. Look, it's just like why you, there's so many hairy men on Twitch. Why you got to come to my chat and be weird? You know, it's like sometimes the chat don't move, so it's just that. And I'm like, you oh, give off that vibe, man. You give off the vibe, you know. That's what it is. What vibe? <laughs> Call me babe vibe. Like, <laughs> what the uh, fuck? Honestly, it took a while for for me to get used to when people are like, "Daddy," you know, I'm like, Wow, see, man. daddy's okay, but some some of my chat right. they use daddy a, like a little too much, you know, like to the point where I'm like, I don't got yeah. alimony for you, you know what I mean? Yo, like, I just play, yo, man, yo, 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 I hope you're earning money because you got to feed me, dude. <laughs> you know? I ain't going to no soccer games, you bro. Put you me better in a home someday. So. Yeah, no, yo, I, I'm, I'm calling me daddy. You better be paying this mortgage, you know, like. Ah, you know, I'll, I'll tell you this, right? So, like, <laughs> it's always a learning curve, right? It's like yeah, I've been yeah. streaming now more or less consistently for like two years. So I'm, I feel relatively new to like setting boundaries and stuff like that. Now I will say this: I recently had to make a really difficult decision that like took me a year of just like thinking about all the time, it stressed me out all of the time. I'm not going to mention any names, but there was somebody who was in my stream who gave that weird vibe to me, right? Like, mm. for, firstly, the guy was gay, okay, and I ain't got a problem with that. That's absolutely fine. Was it? You're not I gotta anyone. ask. Was it before, or after the long hair, Rixie? When did he start? <laughs> oh, yeah. Before it was, the rock it was, band uh, hairstyle. It yeah. was before. It oh. was before. But, so um, he's there for you, baby. It was just like <laughs> I, I have experienced to like an extent the uncomfortability <laughs> of like. So, for example, like this guy basically said, "Runefest, I'm gonna come and like kiss you and stuff." Mm. And it made me feel so uncomfortable. Oh my I god! Felt, I felt, big. and I had to say to him, I was like, "No, man." I was like, "If you touch me at Runefest, it's not going to be a good time." I was like, "You need to just like <laughs> stop with what you're saying." Um, yeah, like no, don't say kiss. I mean, even like if you say hug, I mean, I'm like, "All right, you know." Yeah, no, it, exactly. Okay. And then like he was doing hmm. stuff. Like he, every time I was playing the game, he would be there. And like there was one point where you know somebody might come up to me and say, "Hey, man, like your videos." And he would be like, he's mine, go away. Like, you type that in chat. And it was just really, like, really strange. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, Re no, really, no. really strange. No, so I, I would have to call I'd that be out. buying some pepper spray yeah. in RuneScape. Fuck that. But, but, but oh, this, what, what I'm getting at is, like, this is a very small experience I've had of being, like, I've been made to feel really uncomfortable by somebody to the point of, like, knowing that there's a chance that I will actually run into this person in real life. And... It's all a learning curve. Like I allowed this person to be in my community for way too long. Yeah. And I, I kind of give the benefit of the doubt way too yeah, much. Cause I, I, just I, I always try to right. see, yeah, I, I always yeah. tried to like, you know, be good at forgiving people and stuff like that. But I recently had to remove them from my, my community. And I felt awful doing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It, it's like this person has been there for such a long time. He's a part of the community, but he was making the stream for me, something I was dreading to go live. Yeah. No, you know, and you it, have it was, it was to awful. think about. I mean, and it's hard because it depends on the size of your community. You know, if he's the only viewer, I feel like mo more people are going to be inclined to put up with it for longer. If you have a really small community, but if you have people who are making the community a negative place, or making other people in chat uncomfortable, or making you miserable, then unfortunately, like sometimes it's it's really not worth keeping them around. You know, it's a net benefit yeah. for the entire community. Uh, to ban them and sometimes you ban them and then people come out and start saying it's the silent majority you know that says oh hey thank you for doing that because that made me really uncomfortable and i really like your stream so 
yeah it's it's hard yeah i i think i've just learned to like yeah. nip it in the bud before mm -hmm. it gets yeah three strike policy far. for most cases but sometimes i'll do like a two strike you know if it if it's like yeah. depends on what they type you know if it's really bad I'll, you know, I'm like, sometimes i'll be coming again. drunk and they oh. say dumb shit i'm like hey just just go we'll wake up tomorrow you know drop a fiver you'll be good all right just just calm down <laughs> yeah um, yeah like sometimes yeah. if i notice someone's like looks like they're just venting because they're mad at something and it's not really because of you you know they just want to blast it at you so they can get rid of it i'll be like all right you'll come back down when you're more so, like chilled out you know like, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. you to the low clicks corner but, for the day you know but yeah but, tom sorry to deal with that bro i've i've had that happen i think the worst thing is is when you finally take care of that situation and then you get a new viewer the next day that's kind of like that person and in your mind you're like Oh it's God! Fucking, it's God. fucking him, huh? Yeah. And then you gotta like reply to him like you're friendly because what if it's not? And you don't want to be an asshole. <sighs> yeah, you get paranoid. You know? I get it. I've yeah. never thought about that. That is. Yeah. So I do because <laughs> I like I see mannerisms or mannerisms so clear, you know. In just mm. I, I don't know if it's seven years of Twitch, but when I yeah, read, it's like yeah, I can tell yeah. an attitude, mm. and like I'll ban someone. Oh, I'll just I see totally the same feel shit. Min. I totally feel men on yeah. that because like there's points where I noticed that. I'm pretty sure that's the same person, you know, <laughs> like, mm. like sometimes. Yeah. But, there's and I'm usually feature. right. There's yeah, a new feature can. on Twitch where you can, in moderator settings, um, highlight over a person's name or something and open it up and it will have a warning that says, oh, I got uh, one of like those. flagged for malicious intent, maybe yeah. a recreated account or something like that. Yeah. I got one of those recently. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah I got one of those recently from someone and, and like, it, like the signs were really hitting straight like he was spamming constantly like he was just being really weird and the whole time it had like the little things that uh account a, a ban evasion uh yeah. you know warning or some shit i'm like 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 no i yeah. only i can see and like the mods can see it but like i'm just like all right all right, all right, all right. there's just, like red flags the, the yeah, yeah, yeah but he kept spamming <laughs> so i had to call him out i was like homie like your account is flagged like keep it down like you know seriously <laughs> <laughs> yeah i now that we're on this on this subject, man, what's the weirdest thing that you've you've been asked? Um, one of mine is like, uh, I wonder what you taste like. Honestly, uh, I forgot the... about those. I, I try oh, not to dude. like remember it too much, man. I, I some yeah. of them just pop out. Like you have those memories you can't forget, and you'll just yeah, yeah. No, I mean, there's definitely like a lot of like like people like trying to be horny and stuff. Like even to me, sometimes you know. But like I usually just like I don't even know what, what I just like kind of like try to quickly skip over that you know real fast like and, and then like there's some trolls that are like super horny like they'll always say on, right. super sexual what, shit. what they say about you bro like, come on give me a little something it's like like super like dirty up. sexual shit you know man or, i had yeah, i had like, like i'll have to ban them because i'm like yo you keep doing this i'm not the band and then they do it again i'm like all right, all right. you know boom bye. man you know? my, my chat were asking me today how many subs hmm. for me to let them suck on my toes <laughs> I, said, I said i said at least a thousand <laughs> oh sign me up for that shit bro thousand <laughs> subs and clean god. toes god damn that's win win uh, win win yeah and it, like Jeez. i don't know and like the thing is like there's things like that that are just that just fun. sounds gross that's, man i'm not gonna yeah lie. but it's like it's obviously they're joking do you know what i mean like that's yeah, that's yeah, okay. yeah. no like there sometimes you know. the ch if the chat's like down with like the the dirty stuff you know what I mean? Like, like, like then I, I, I can usually tell. I'm like, okay, whatever, play with it for a bit. But like, if it's like a random ass dude, I don't know where he just keeps talking sexual shit. Like, I'm like, okay. Bro. Yeah, there's, there's Ow. a difference for when like Ow. you stand up, turn around, grab something, right? And then everyone in chat goes like, thick, right? And you're like, oh, that's kind of funny, dude. And then, then the one guy's <laughs> yeah. like, I'd ride the fuck out of that. And you're like, <laughs> like, no, what? What? <laughs> bro, man, well, the chat's so not far. moving that yeah. fast. I mean, <laughs> 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 oh, I can read all of that, bro. <laughs> yeah yeah no uh, there's, there's a lot of horny horny uh people you know yeah for sure. it's so weird yeah. though like i feel like that's a crazier topic i don't want to get super deep i just feel like people are sexually confused like all the time online or something like well, when i mean confused fans, when i mean confused know. i don't mean like whether or not they actually like are, are sexually into somebody it's just like in their mind it's all it's all messed up you know they don't like they don't know like the law you know like the the mindset of like how to actually be properly dating someone right like first it's like just feeling aroused by saying all these things to everybody you know mm. it's like they're confused they're all over the place they don't know do think, like yeah do you think that started right, you know, after uh, people started drawing pictures of neve <clears throat> like is that where it came from or i don't know no i'm saying in general like not beyond runescape but like yeah but I it know. applies it all applies though i feel like i yeah. think people are just having fun 
most of the time. Like I, I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah. Apart from that, like if you're getting hit on all the time, like I don't know, man. Maybe people got a thing for you, but mm-hmm. it might actually yeah, yeah, yeah. be like instead mm-hmm. of confusion, it might be consciousness. Like people might just feel more, more themselves online because they're more anonymous and they know that. They got a thing yeah. for Ricey Boy over there, and they can say it. Nah, I don't get it that often, thankfully. Look at yeah. Rice down there. Who I wouldn't get have a thing for him, man? No. Him. no, 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 <laughs> no. No, yeah, it's I'm, like, I'm chill. It's pretty chill, usually. Thank like sometimes I'll get people who will hit on me. I'll be like, hey, just, just don't do that. And then, and then they won't. And then you'll get people who like will just talk about a certain body part they like of you or something, or just really focusing on one aspect. Like, <laughs> yeah, I wonder what your chest hair feels like. One aspect. <laughs> yeah, one, one aspect, aspect, bro. Yeah, and I'll one, bring it up like, hey, I got cake, but that's not for you guys to talk about, all right? That's yeah, it's for like, me. I got talk. cake, but we're not eating tonight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're not eating that. <laughs> but a funny, um, I don't know how funny this could be, but back in the day, I would stream on my laptop, really shitty webcam, and every yeah, time I like, went to yeah. get up... In your back pocket? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, every time I went to get up to get like a drink or something, I turn off the webcam, right? Because I wasn't wearing pants. I do pants. that sometimes, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I wear like nope. biker shorts and so like. I'll, oh, like yeah, I wear I'm boxers. Like, what is tomato, 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 right? Wait, you what know? are you wearing? biker shorts. I don't even... They're like, like I wear like cotton, like like. Hundred percent. Right? Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. Because yeah, when yeah. I'm streaming, For like, I yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it's like, and sometimes I'm be honest, like I feel like you stream long hours. Sometimes you're gonna get a little sweaty if you're not wearing something that's like you <laughs> oh, know. God. So, wait, wait, yeah. you don't got a butt towel? <laughs> oh, oh, dude. <laughs> what? What? No, but I don't have it that bad. Butt oh, towel, man. Yeah. I feel like this. Boys. This we gotta warn people. Like this is a ready to arch podcast. Ready. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's all honestly, it's mostly yeah. truckers, so we're chilling. It's truckers. Okay, wait. I got so I streamed on my laptop. I would turn my camera off to go get stuff. Um, and I just had to stop that because people in the chat thought I, had a, I was in a wheelchair, right? And I kept saying, I'm like, guys, I'm not in a wheelchair. And they'd be like, here's some money. Go buy yourself a bed. I'm like, guys, please stop donating. I'm not in a wheelchair. And then, then they'd, they'd get like little pictures of like, have you, have you seen the picture of oh, that guy in pictures. a Batman outfit? And he's like in a wheelchair and they put my face on it, right? Like, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, and then that's, that's why I had to start wearing pants when I gamed. You know, that's where it all stemmed, sadly. Where I, people yeah, would Mitch, donate thinking I'm in a wheelchair and I just couldn't Mitch's live with it. way too attractive, man. Honestly, he's just way too attractive. I, I think you just that. attract a lot of like the Kona people. I don't know. Like I do got really? some country boys in there. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> what what yeah, does that I, even I mean? What what what's this little stigma with Kona boys? Like are they into like Michaels or like what's the No, deal? no, I'm just yeah. saying like drinking beer. I don't know about the the Michaels. I think part. I don't, I don't know. know. I feel like they get a little more raunchy sometimes, you know? Like I've, yeah, are you talking about domestic violence? Or? No, no, like, like they get, they get a, like overly flirty, you know. Oh, Kinda, I don't know. That's maybe, that's just my maybe. preconception. I could be totally wrong, you know. Usually, probably is wrong, you know. But that's the vibe I get sometimes. I don't know. So but anyway, like yeah, tall wanna, Italians and the short Asians—that's their that's their specialty, right there, Rice. No, man. No, I don't get hit on like that, uh, on, bro. Know, they I don't have. I'm telling you, man. Like that, man. Rice. Mm-hmm. Oh, go out downtown, man. Those ladies love love the little Asian men, bro. You, you get it up, man. I'm telling you, bro. You know, you do well out there, bro. Uh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Man. <laughs> yeah, rice. Me and Rice were walking down Chinatown. I'm like, he's he's, he's pointing out attractive women. I'm like Rice, they would eat you up. Just go up, talk about your RuneScape account. They love that oh, shit, God. man. For real. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I don't. I don't want to be that approaching. You know. No, Rice told me he's like, I'm still grinding. You know, I, I don't got time for no GF. And I'm like, all right, that's that's fair. That was like four. Well, years I can say ago. the same to you, man. <laughs> you know. And you know, he's been putting in forty hours every week, so the man's yeah. still grinding. So fair enough, man. But anytime you want, you just walk on down there, bro. Yo, no, what? No. <laughs> all right. Anyways, yeah. yeah. What are we talking about? <laughs> no, we, we, like, we should talk about some some positive stuff now. You know, like yeah, any, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's like, spin it. You know, you're a unique streamer, right? In the sense that you know you you don't do the guys, you don't do that stuff. So so like oh so like now, right? For you specifically, when when people come in and like have have there been moments where like you know they've just been so entrancing that idea they find that so entertaining like they give you they'll tell you something kind of like you know moments like that where you're just like oh yeah i I guess i am doing some really cool type of content you know unique wise like Um, you know praise like oh 
That, you know, I think that a lot of the members of the community, you know, love that aspect about the community, like really like that. Uh, yeah. It's kind of a fun niche. But I will say most of the people who just come into the stream, they come into the stream and they're like, why are you wearing, you know, like, why are you wearing this and this? Like, what's wrong with you? Why are you wearing, you know, a rune full helm at Zora? <laughs> what are you doing, you know? So yeah. I don't think that like, cause it's not like you come in and they're flashing red lights and it says guideless content, no guide, yeah, yeah. you know, they don't usually little... read. Yeah. They yeah. Usually and read. there's a chat warning. So when you join it, like you see in the chat and it explains it. And if you scroll down in the about, it explains it, but they don't like read. Like, <laughs> people read. Yeah. So they just come in and they're like, you know, why you got on stronghold of security rainbow boots is Zora. Like, is it for the fashion? So, yeah. yes. Like have they come yes, back is. a second time and be like, you know what? I actually dig this content, you know, that kind of I thing. think a lot of them forget and they come back and then they spoil and they're like, oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. I forgot, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's a tough crowd, but hey, no, I'm, I'm, a, I'm sure like, you know, like there's got to be some, you know, good moments where, yeah, like, you, like been... you make you appreciate like what you do. You're like, you know what? I am doing this in a way that's like, because like, I, I mean, you could do it for yourself. Obviously, you're doing it for yourself. And then there's like. You know, you as a content creator, you kind of like, there's a point where you kind of accept that. You're like, I'm a streamer. I provide something for pe certain people, right? Like, like moments where you feel like, yeah, like I'm doing this and like, you know, people like it, et cetera, you know, that yeah. kind of moments. Yeah. I think it's but, kind of like um, humbling, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. but also, also self-fulfilling um, because, you know, it is kind of comedic relief watching someone like attempt to do something really easy for hours and failing over and over again when you know the answer. Yep. Uh, I think that that's a big piece, but also like, so I do clue scrolls without guides too. And there was one uh, specific instance where it was an anagram and the name was wow. Dominic Onion. And I yeah. went to all the onion patches on Ruby <laughs> for Dominic Onion. <laughs> and then I started, I couldn't find him. So I started mapping on PCs, starting from the west side of the map, going down oh and then God. moving to the east, looking for Dominic Onion. And I found him at a Nightmare Zone, right? And it's like the reaction of being like, oh my gosh. And a lot of people see that and don't like know the stream's content and are like, why is she freaking out over a clue scroll? But for the people yeah. that are there for it, it's like the best feeling, you know, running around Gilinor for six hours looking for Dominic Onion and then finding <laughs> him and like all of that energy comes out and it's the best thing in the world. Um, so I think that's really the biggest uh, difference that it makes for the community, you know, and the people that really enjoy it. And I think do, that's the biggest difference that it makes for me too. So do, do you ever take hints for any of the stuff that you're stuck on? I don't. So I don't allow wow. any hints. So I did a, I did a, a subathon like years ago now, and the final reward was a spoiler for that. So I allowed them to spoil that for me. Uh, and a spoiler cost a million channel points in my channel. But the thing that they spoiled was Monster Examine and the Lunar Spellbook. They were like, by the way, this exists. And I used that. I used that for Zora. So that's how I learned like what the phases oh, do. Oh wow. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, that's that is crazy. And like does it you're not bored of this concept, right? You're just like, you're gonna do that till the end of time. <laughs> yes. But but we'll see. Because oh, is the boredom well, setting in? What was that pause the there? Thing. It's the Explain. hard thing is accepting mm. brand deals and partnerships that may require spoiling. Mm. So I can't ah, really, yeah. yeah, I can't really get into details, you know, on anything. Mm. Um, but I think that there are instances, and like nothing's going on right now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna leak anything. Uh, but I think that there are instances where, like, if you know. If if I was working with someone on a, on a sponsorship or in a partnership and they were like, this is what we want you to do. We want you to go over this, that, and the other. Uh, then that could be an issue, I feel like. Does that make sense? I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess you, you I, have to I'm know a more bit, about the game. I'm a little bit lost. I'm going to be honest. Wait, like You have to so like research the game and how to play it probably, right? And then it's so like... Are we, are we my looking? biggest example... Okay, so if we're talking about like a different game, for example, okay, so if we're talking about, I'm gonna make a different Raid. comparison. If we're talking about Raid Shadow Legends, right? And Raid's like, I'm approaching you with a sponsorship deal. I want you to 
do a trailer for the game. And in the trailer, you're going to talk about this content that is game related. How are you going to say no to raid? Can, you know, if can you I play, make you feel you better? Raid, you know, because I've had a okay. raid legend uh, sponsorship and they said, hey, pick your favorite raid character and then say why you like it. Nope, that's for sure. I, I, I said, uh, I like this guy because he looks like Shrek. So if that makes you feel better, I mean, that was, and then, and then yeah, I got paid. So so mm -hmm. you're referring not specifically to RuneScape as the spoiler. You're talking about the actual concept of playing any game with no guides. Am I on the right page here? So Wait, you don't play any how, game without any guides? How it would be related to RuneScape is like if Jagax approached you. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. I got yeah, because then you're like, I, uh, I can't. I'm not supposed to learn that yet. Exactly. But, yeah. but I'm supposed to create content, you know, that's related well, to it. Or well, like do... uh, Jimmy. Jimmy reached out to me and asked me to be in the group Iron Man trailer. You know, the voiceover uh... content. So it's like, oh, this is the trailer for group Iron Man. These are the lines, you know, or like this is the content that you that I want you to speak on. It's like, how am I going to say no to being in in his group Iron Man yeah. trailer. Yeah, you know? so some like, small yeah. exceptions to the rule, mm -hmm. but but like you know, um, like other games, I guess. Would you you would you try to stay spoilerless too when you play those? I've done it. Uh, so I played a little Terraria and played it without guides, and that was a mess. Um, uh -huh. And then mm -hmm. I um, I started Elden Ring and have been playing some Elden Ring and played that like and have been playing that without guides mass kids simulator yeah but i yeah i allow for like chat help just because i feel like the chat wants to be included you know so know, getting every yeah. spoiler is hard um yeah, i don't know yeah, that i would do it to the yeah. same extent as i do it for inscape but yeah true yeah there's definitely some leeway with certain games i, I guess you found a way to make it work well on runescape whereas other games it's like yeah you, you can't really control the flow of that information at times in a way that's like too stressful, I guess. Oh my yeah. God, wait, dude, I got the question of questions. How have we not asked this? I can't ask the question without spoiling it. Oh no, don't worry. Don't, I, I was referring to the thing that Wooks discovered. Boys, I'm sure you- You gotta be like, a little more specific. He's discovered what, quite a yeah, lot. He's, right? Yeah, he's figured out. Right, okay, the, the like challenge Jesus. that was set by the J-Mods. Is the this Inferno? Model? Are you talking about Inferno? No. You're talking about the Clues Crow? Just kidding. You're talking about the Clues Crow? Remember when I said I played like you, Jilly? Because I have no fucking idea things. this man's talking about. I, no idea. Yeah, dude, you're, you don't read you it unless it's like wilderness. See? Like, we could probably do a duo stream. We wouldn't even know what the fuck we're looking at, honestly. Honestly, that'd be oh. hilarious. I did a, a trio with Hanani and Nainrin where we did chambers and none of us had done chambers. And it was hilarious. It was so funny. If you funny. want a clue yeah, with the or you came yeah, to the right place. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I don't want. I don't want to say it in case she yeah. wants to go for it or stumbles upon it. Like so, I'll leave oh, it yeah, rhyme yeah. with. Yeah. Put, it, put it in the chat and I won't read it, and then just delete. I, it. How do you have the willpower? I've already, no? I've already typed it. I've typed it. It's fine. Yeah, Bree knows what I'm talking about. Mint yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have no fucking idea again. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mint's too busy in the wilderness. Yeah. I feel yeah, like you can crypto. say what it is, and I probably know of it, right? Or no. I mean, uh, I don't want to ruin something for you. Like if it's like fight you. caves, they're infernal or Zora, you know, I know that there's a collection log. Uh, okay, so it's like a big clue scroll chase, like a special clue scroll chase thing. Yeah, yeah see, I That's, don't know either. I, no. We can probably go a step further and say it's an outfit regarding that. It's yeah, an you can outfit? like, yeah, you, you can get something if you discover this hidden, you know, like clue. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, I have yeah. no idea. And it took Are like, you... it took like the entire <laughs> community <laughs> to try to find it. Bro, why do I not know? I have Here's no idea. Outfit. I have what? no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's just a secret. cosmetic. Is just it a cosmetic. cool outfit? I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if people talk know? about it that much. But... Is it cute on the girl know? model? Is it cute? Mm, it's more like know. it's more like survival <laughs> gear. You know, it looks more like a survival gear. <laughs> okay. I don't think it's cute. I don't think so. Okay, I mean, if it's not like cute, survival. then that's fine. And Wooks designed it? it? No, no, he tried to find it. He was like one of the guys that try oh they're but... doing the thingy Pioneer. again okay no, i didn't know that no, was, a, no, was they're no, doing that was it in the past that was the past tense oh past okay tense. so i have no idea yeah, okay never mind yeah I'm someone else found it. it someone else solved it uh not wooks he you know wooks did did try but he didn't have to he can do damn it. are you gonna roast wooks on our yeah podcast, he's really ooh, no no yeah. i mean like, like hey, man, man you know, could have just said give, you know someone else did it man wanted to be like you ever wanted to have him on the podcast hey man wooks has gone too many clips all right 
right? It's okay. Clipped. Like you just got to <laughs> knock him down a little bit, huh? Hey, man. Every every good player got to be humble, right? You know? Anyways, All that's right. that's not really roast or anything, you know. Just saying, like you know, eventually it was discovered, right, by somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that was probably like in in terms of just stumbling across something in the game. You're probably never gonna discover it. I'm gonna just be honest. Like, yeah, but like it doesn't matter. Thankfully, it doesn't no, like, impact it doesn't... Any, anything. So, it, no. good stuff. Interesting. It's more like an Easter yeah. egg. Yeah. 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 It's a yeah. That's a good way of putting it. it literally, oh, is very egg. optional. Yeah. Very optional indeed. And like, you don't need it. You know, it's just <laughs> yeah, it's right, kind of yeah. cool. Like, it's one of those things. Give me the rundown after stream because I am so lost. Mm. Yeah. Someone, did no. Someone did a video on it. Hey, hey! Someone did a video on it as well. Right? No. Oh, I mean, like, if it, like, if if it's like information you deem not spoilerish because it doesn't change anything for you at all in in RuneScape, it doesn't. That outfit literally does nothing. Like, it's a spoiler. Of, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, you don't want to talk about it. Well, I've got a question. So, like, you know, we spoke during the podcast. Uh, actually, I think it was before the podcast. You said that you don't really watch other content creators because of spoilers. Um. So I'm guessing that kind of goes for going on Reddit, going on Twitter, basically social media is to do with RuneScape. Like, do you ever feel like slightly like isolated in any way? Or is that something that you don't even consider when it comes to like the RuneScape community? Yeah, so um that's a good question. So I don't really I don't ever go on OSRS Reddit. Like I I'm never on the Reddit. I just stay away from that clear. Uh on Twitter, I do follow other creators on Twitter. A lot of times they don't post spoiler content, right? Um, like there's not really content that is gonna be significant for me to spoil, you know, to spoil something something big. So I don't usually like I just scroll past it. If I see that it's OSRS, I just scroll pretty fast and, and go past it. So that's not okay. too much of an issue for me. Um on YouTube I don't watch any any old school runescape content. I have watched Hanani because she literally doesn't do con like she's like she would cut, you know, for 22 hours. Is she and Alicia 2.0? Is that yeah, what's going on? I, nice. I don't know. But um, yeah, yeah, non-game content videos. Yeah. So if it's like commentary or if it's like if it's a podcast, sometimes if it doesn't seem like it's gonna be spoilery, then I'll um I'll watch it or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. But it's pretty rare. I will say though, I've never felt isolated because I think one of our biggest strengths is that the old school RuneScape creators are genuinely really cool and we'll reach out and like hang out and be friends with you and exchange like ideas and and dm and um and follow each other and stop by the stream so i've never ever felt isolated because i feel like everyone's just really nice um and That's connected in that sense so yeah it really i i don't think that i could do what i do in any other category um because i don't think it would be the same but everyone's been really nice to me so yeah hmm. well, it's really good i'm glad to hear that yeah, like I mean, it's you know respect for resisting the temptation to know and learn everything. You know, <laughs> like, you've been I mean, able you don't to know that. what you're missing out on if you've never experienced it. So, yeah, yeah, I think exactly. for someone who, who does, yeah, yeah, for someone who does know, it it definitely seems like a huge just advantage and miserable. But for someone who's just like, yeah, I, I'd say I'm gonna, thing, you know. Uh, yeah. I'm an obsessed knowledge seeker, you know. It has it has its drawbacks. Show them your sure. uh, show them your spreadsheets, Rice. Ah, I have spreadsheets oh, too. No, they're more like <laughs> they're, they're more like me. all the spreadsheets. You're nothing like just, Rice's. Oh, nah, they're, they're more like just uh, you know, like information on on my personal goals, and that's really all. This man's a RuneScape accountant, bro. Oh my god, he's got like every boss, KC rare item, fucking yeah, dated for, and shit. I, like, um, because I that counts all. One. I don't yeah, mean to one up here or anything because this isn't, but uh, for Corrupted yeah. Gauntlet, my my community, like my mods and stuff, logged all of my drops so that I would have like a drop table, you know? Um, oh, wow. For, okay. Yeah, like 300 okay. on some KCs, every single drop oh, was God, logged. That... It was crazy. Yeah, Jeez. Was cool. Damn. Yeah. And really when I was mapping uh, NPCs in Gillenor, I would, I had all of the names of the NPCs and where to find them. So that way, if I ever got an anagram or a cipher and I didn't know who the person was, then it's organized based on letter count in the name. So I can go to the names that are that many letters and determine, oh, this is how many letters are in the anagram. 
this is that person's, these are the options, right? Uh, I got like halfway through Gillenor mapping all the NPCs on the main ground and then realized I'm going to have to climb ladders and then do dungeons too. And then that was it. So, uh, but yeah. Okay. Spreadsheets. Yeah, yeah, My that, God. yeah, yeah, that. That's probably more wow. advanced than mine. I just you guys, uh, you guys are good at crypto. <laughs> <laughs> Spreadsheet, crazy. all that shit, man. Oh, hey, Mike, God. do you Listen have up. any? Uh, do you have any lists? I, the only lists I can imagine you ever write in are like people that are permanently banned from your chat. <laughs> oh no, I don't I remember. Don't I just list. go click. Uh, I have a no, list no, of um, animes that people recommend me that I never go watch, but I just get gets bigger Ooh. every day. So one day I'm gonna start chipping away at them. But I don't think it's a spreadsheet, though. Man, speaking of anime, what's going on with Attack on Titan? I thought this was the last another year. <laughs> another year until it's released. I think Aaron got pregnant, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Sorry. We Wait, you watch that? that? Are you a weeb? Or I don't even know if you're a weeb. Um, me? I don't know. I watch anime sometimes, but it's like it's oh, you're not, casual. Not all you're of not them. Really, yeah, I'm yeah, pretty yeah, casual. casual. I'm pretty casual. I'll be Attack on Titan, though, you're a part of that, or no? Well, I watched I think the first two or three seasons when they were out, and then there was another season that was I had to wait to be released, so I stopped there. Yeah, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll be done next year, though. Oh, did you get to the part where they're on the yacht and they find that island and like? <laughs> There's like oh, 40 pieces of gold on the island with like naked <laughs> people on it. <laughs> there, there already was naked people, you know? The yeah, there have been naked people consistently. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I gotta be a little more specific. Dude, nah. Have any of you watched uh, the show The Vikings? No. I did. Season four. Oh. I was like, Ugh. season three, I was like, mm. so I don't know what happened in between that. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I just had a really terrible, terrible memory of this one time when I was high as we were watching the episode with one of my friends who hadn't watched the, like, the episode, right? And, uh, oh, I was so dumb. I just spoke out loud when it was supposed to be like an internal fault. My friend had never seen it, right? And in fact, first, are any of you going to watch The Vikings? Should I just pause? Uh, probably watch? not. I Personally, probably not. Yeah, season four, I just okay. couldn't do it. So, I was just like, I was like, oh, that's that tree that he hangs himself on. <laughs> and my friend looks at me, because this is like the main character, and like, that's not going to happen. My friend looks at me like, what are you saying, man? And then he actually <laughs> starts to do it. But like, the catch, right? Is that the rope like breaks and he actually lives? Uh, right? it was, like, his so you face when he started going up to the tree and put the rope. He looked at me. It was just like, oh my god. Oh, god. So if anything, you made it better for him without. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, have you, you seen that bit, that. man? Do you know the part I'm talking about? No. God, there was so much shit in that show and so many oh, dead people. God. It's hard to really say, but I, I enjoyed it though. I enjoyed the story. <laughs> That's a good show. Oh, I've, well, there's that anime that recently came out. Um, Shield Careful with the spoilers, Hero. you know. What'd that you show's say? okay. That show's okay. I what quite show? like season one. A uh, Shield Hero. Oh, dude! Yeah, you see the. How far are you? In? <laughs> man, I, I've watched, watch out I've the watched, spoilers. Don't say oh, too much. Man, one of my one of my friends. Watch who's out! Massive, watch out! Watch anime. <laughs> my friend who loves anime, his name's CJ. He oh. he like sends me animes all the time. He's really good to go for. But like. He sent me one recently that was called Food Wars. Mm. Have any of you seen that? Yeah. Well, there's, a lot, of, they, uh... there's a lot of uh, exploding clothes. Oh, my God. Uh, have you seen that one, Jilly? Mm -mm. You should yeah, check probably. it out. It's on yeah. Netflix. Very sexual, it's but not food sexual. Wars. It's, it's mostly it's... about food, but the show definitely shows other stuff that you don't really care about. Personally. It's like, <laughs> imagine someone eating a bowl of mac and cheese, and then as soon as they eat like the first spoonful they get butt naked and like they just moan but you it's don't not, actually see anything you're, but, but you're it's like, not sexual though but because it's just that's over the top anime? It, it's it's yeah. silly it's goofy food wars okay food wars you should check it. <laughs> Add it to the list. well actually we don't even know what type of show she likes so i wouldn't recommend a whole too many just yet what, what's your favorite anime <clears throat> uh <laughs> um i uh I really like your lion April. I think it's oh, really that's cute, a sad but one, right? I also hate it. Yeah, it's really sad. Oh, you, you, like, the, you like, like the you like the rom com yeah. uh, slice of life stuff more. Slice of life for sure. Do not yeah. watch. What was it? Your lion April. 
I think it's really beautiful because like it it's really cool. I like it a lot. The main character is a violinist um and meets um no, I'm sorry, he's a pianist and meets a violinist. Mm -hmm. Um and so it's like it's got a lot of music underlays. It's really neat. They talk like they kind of cover sort of overcoming anxiety and what anxiety feels like and it's like this um like metaphor for being underwater and it's like really really cool like as someone who doesn't really like struggle with anxiety but who has panicked public speaking you know it really feels like that and so it's like i really connected with some themes in the anime i thought it was oh, really wow. cool yeah yeah i definitely uh teared up a little bit i don't want to lie um you yeah. should not watch if if that made you tear up. Don't watch Clan Ed After Stories because I don't know if Rice has watched that. I heard about it, I've never seen it. But Bro, it. the first season, you're like, okay, I got the backstory, whatever, and then it goes to the After Stories, and I don't <laughs> spoil it, but it gets like I was tearing yeah, up. No, I was in I high school man. crying, man. I'm, I'm like, I didn't know the something last, was gonna hit me this hard. The last anime I watched that got me bawling was uh what's this chinese anime called link click it's one of the best shows i've seen in recent years like it's so good. link click bro that yeah. does not oh sound very sad God. no it doesn't no it's got everything it's action is it a car crash they did link click so they died oh That's dude shady. it's so crazy it's so in depth like i cried a few times there was like there was like a few moments but like there was middle of the first season i was like you know oh my and god i i anyways, wept I wept to uh, um, Beyblades. Like, a, a silent, a silent voice. Have any of you watched that? One? I watched the movie, but I was a little too high for it, so I kind of need to watch it clean. <laughs> He's right. like, I can't hear him. It was oh, it's college. muted. It was like weekend, you know, with the boys. So. Oh, oh, that's yeah. that's really sad. I yeah. like. Honestly, I do remember look, it now. It, it's really sad. It's about yeah, a girl yeah. that's deaf, and it's oh my god, like it's yeah, it's sad. Mm -hmm. It is sad, but it's really good. Pretty good. Would recommend. When do we start getting all sad, bro? Yeah, I mean, we've been covering some dark and deep <laughs> themes. Well, well, yeah, they he, they asked you what your favorite was, and then it kind oh, of. Yeah, I just yeah gonna... I'm sorry. I don't know. I just took it there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I was just. If you want something lighthearted, I watched something called Non Non Buri. It's about like village Wait. life in Japan as like as kids. It's so funny. It's like yeah, hilarious. Yeah, give me, give me the anime. I like, so, I like some smiles, dude. Give me that. Yeah, yeah. Non, non, Biori. Yeah. I can't that spell funny. that is shit. This, an, this isn't an anime, is it? It is, it is, yeah. It's oh, just kidding. Anime. There's a show. I don't I know if it's, it's a show. I don't know if it's a show or a YouTube video, but there's something where um, there are these kids and they're told to do chores and it like follows them doing chores <laughs> in <laughs> villages and it's really cute uh, i haven't seen it but i saw like a preview and i thought that's like yeah yeah like, non non very is hilarious like it's one of those shows where you watch before bed and you're like yeah that's that feels good and then you yeah. knock the heck out <laughs> I always ask my viewers, like, what should I watch? I like to watch mm -hmm. something before I go to bed. And they just give me, like, the scariest shit. And I'm thinking... Oh, no, that one's some super of them, funny. It's hilarious. Well, some yeah, of them are I, trying to fuck with me, and others just like that stuff. And I'm like, I can't watch that before I'm about to go to bed, you know? Like, American Horror Stories. Like, no, it's it's not really that scary. And I turn it on, like, everyone's dying and shit, and there's ghosts <laughs> everywhere. And I'm like, bruh, I can't sleep now. Dude, my door's I can't creaking. do that. No. If I ever watch like a scary film, I have to watch like a Disney film after before I go to bed. Yeah, you I need to bounce that. Just to feel film good. Always cleanses the palate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, what what I was saying, like with that sad anime, I never thought a cartoon <laughs> would make me feel like that. To go back to I, this was my point. <laughs> to go I never, back to the sad th thing. Right? This is this is when I realized just how great anime actually is. Okay, because I was like, man, I'm I'm literally weeping over a cartoon. And I never thought that would happen. You know what I mean? That like yeah. elevated my you respect. You ever watched Fox and the me. Hound? Oh I yeah, have. but, but I, I wouldn't see. I wouldn't have ever said that was anime. I just no. I'm I don't just know. saying you it's said it's American anime, bro. Over, you said you would never be weeping over a cartoon, and so I'm like, it's a cartoon. Yeah, you know? I guess that's that's true. Does I don't ET know. count? I don't mean to classify it as anime. I just mean no, no, no. Like, yeah, that's, that's the thing. Like you cry. <laughs> I, I've always that's the weird thing. I've actually always like classified that as like Disney and then anime is something else. But you're right, it actually is. Like it's pretty much the same thing. Well yeah, in Tom, Japan they would consider it anime. Anime is Tom, any, any cartoon. Tom, have yeah. you watched uh, E. T. Yeah, but not in a long time. I need to rewatch any, it. Any tears, bro? It, I can't really honestly, remember it. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, so like sad. middle school. It's like sad. like <laughs> legit, like late middle school to like uh after cult, like during college, I didn't cry ever. Like, 
I don't know. I kind of forgot man. how to cry, honestly. And then I start. I, I've been. You know, I cried like probably like six and times. You started smoking weed, and you're like, years. I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just one of my friends told me like a really sad story about them, and I was like, "Holy shit!" And then, I don't know, I just started crying out. I don't know. And then, and then, like ever since then, like I've cried like five times probably throughout like the past two years, like crazy. But like you know, I obviously, thought, dude, to like really. I thought you were gonna say oh. throughout this stream, then. For some no, reason. no, no. I mean, I cried last week when I, when I was hanging out with Soul Mission. We, we watched a, uh, a new movie. It's like called uh, "Everywhere, Everything, All at Once." Dude, that that was. Made me cry like four, three separate times in like ten minutes. I was like, "Holy crap! Well, stop! I only have one tissue like, paper. I can't. I can't like wipe like my tears." tears? No, yeah, sorry. no. I was like, I was like, I was like, control this. I, you know, I meant like, were they happy tears or were they sad tears? Like it was sad and happy. Like it was like the different parts. You know, it was like a montage yeah. of things happening. I was like, "No way, dude!" It's like I wasn't expecting. It was like kung fu, martial arts, everything, and then all of a sudden, I feel that. Yeah, I was like, holy shit. I was as soon as E.T.'s finger hit the little boy's <laughs> finger, I was fucking breaking up, bro. I was like, mm, and then the door fucking went, and his family came back. And I'm like, I wish my family came back, dude. I was dying, and I was watching with my mom at the time. She's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm fucking feeling for this guy. <laughs> Man. Yeah, no, it was crazy. I, I just cried so much. It was good, though. I felt uh, good. I was, like, emotionally yeah, exhausted. Sometimes you need a good cry, yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I was like, I've been cleansed. Uh, is E.T. on Netflix, dude? I'm about to have one tonight, bro. That's what I'm talking <laughs> Oh, my Gosh. God. Uh, right. Did it? Yeah. Boys I was just going to ask before we yeah, end. You go. That's good. That's go, good. Go. Did they ever make an E.T. 2? I don't think they should. No, okay. All Some right. So that's all I got. People. I was wondering because then I could watch that. But, yeah, it was a great podcast. We should probably close it. It's about two hours in. Yeah, it's um, good. We got, we, yep. we, I think we hit all the points, and then we went a bit deeper and it's it was spicy it was a spicy mm -hmm. yeah Absolutely. we took it to a sad point some confessions hey. were made yeah <laughs> oh, what, what should we say what should we tell people for engagement like if they watch the whole thing you know um have you ever been the, uh spicy content? ET, dude it has to be et boys if you watch this far into the podcast if you're a loyal podcast yeah viewer, tell us what you think you about the whole thing tell us what you think about et, ET. down below yeah. let us know your favorite anime you know Type phone home stuff. Yeah. Give us an ET down in the comments. That'd be great. Yeah, tell us what you loved about ET. Like, did you cry during ET? Yes or no? Or, or if you did you cry during any human. other recent thing, let us. Know. Dude, I need to little, re watch it. When the little tents were in there and ETs in there and they got to operate them like those fucking Americans. Spoiler, look, there's some uh, people who might not have seen it and now they got to watch it. You know? Good. If they, Go if watch they haven't it. seen it by yeah, now, they don't it. deserve to watch it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jilly. All right, all right. Where wrap can it the up. people find oh, yeah, you? Uh, right? uh, what's your social medias? What's what's your Twitch? Um, you so still everything. Mm, that's not true. Uh, my Twitch is twitch.tv slash jellyfish. Uh, it's just jellyfish with an I. And then all my other social medias are in the about, so you can find them there. Awesome. Yeah, we'll we'll all hit right. up all the all the links in the description. So check it out. Awesome. Thank you guys mm. so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks yeah. for taking the time out of the afternoon uh, for. Or the yep. evening for Rixie. I really appreciate it a lot. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank yeah, you. It was fun, for time. fun times. Thank you.